Ah, Sharky. <coughs> that one was legit. Yeah. <sighs> it's chance time again. It is chance time. <laughs> I'm always looking forward to these. I I dread these. I've, really? I've become terrified. I've become conditioned <laughs> about these. I mean, it's great content. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. It, it, it's great for the show. It, it's great for, like, clips of me getting mad when I get stuck with playing platformers. It's a great bit. Uh, hold on, there's a spider dangling right in front of me. Sorry, little guy. I gotta do this. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I just can't have you in the room. That's... <laughs> anyway, uh... <laughs> Chance time! It's the it's the show where we uh, hit the buttons and uh, we pick a console, we pick a genre, and we uh, pick a player. And uh, usually it comes up with me playing a platformer, and then I uh, sour my mood for the rest of the night. So we'll hope that the first time through, it, it's really it is hilarious how the first two times we've done this, it came up with the worst possible luck for me twice in a row. So. Here's hoping not a repeat of that. Uh, here's hoping you get stuck with something. That said, right. I, I Listen, did... You're, you say I get stuck with something, but I usually enjoy the chance to play some of these games I'd never heard of. Well, that's great yeah. for you. Or never had a chance uh, to play. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I used to be optimistic. I, I used to have that optimism in me. Uh, <laughs> and then the show sapped it out of me. It sucked me dry of that. It deprived me of that. <laughs> Okay, that's enough ado. Uh, do you want to go first? Sure, sure. All right. All right. In that case, let me go ahead and get all these spinning. Hit that music. And let's hear. Chance time! All right, we're going to go left to right. For this I can do one. that for you. All right. Give me a console. Sega Genesis, all right. Give me a genre. Of course, it's a platformer. All right, Cash. I want you to hit OK and have you play it. Just tell me when. Go hit it. Oh, thank God. OK, no, good. OK. Whew, dodged a bullet there. Dodged a 16-bit platformer bullet. All right, that means that we have to find something for you to play. I have an idea right. of what it might I, be. I grew up on the Genesis. And platformers, so I, I'm in my wheelhouse here. Uh, platformer, let's just put all that stuff in. Well, I can't be right. You know what? I, I know one uh, offhand. My filters aren't working so great right now, but uh, this you know should what? work. I was thinking of that exact same game, even before I spun the wheels. Well, in that case, I'm, I'm happy to have you be the one to play Awesome Possum kicks Dr. Machino's butt. I played this as a kid. I rented this maybe multiple times. Did he just love possums or the environment? Probably the possum part. That's fair. Oh, oh, hold on. Ooh, Let's make sure the window's the right scale. Cool aspect ratio. Possum kicks Dr. Machino's butt. I'm awesome. I'm awesome. Very good. You know, that's self-affirmation. I, I can get behind that. Self-actualization. You believe it and it becomes true. Uh, let's... Yeah, you're set up. You, you, you should be good. You should be able okay. to hit start on this. and Start a... Okay, so let me see. Is this the A button? Yes, okay. Oh. I can, oh, review questions. Okay, we might have to go back to that later. But speech. Motor mouth, no talking, small talk, chatty. Mo... Uh, Motor mouth. Obviously motor mouth. Yeah, that's... Sounds about right. I notice you're playing on easy. This is it a particularly that difficult game? That was the default. Game? Okay. It's defaulted to easy, so... You're not so awesome. Well, fuck you. <laughs> that's what he should have said. Oh, I can, I can already... Ooh. Oh, my God. Ooh. I don't know how much of this is input lag and how this much is of this is a present from me to you. Thank you for the 100 bits, Crow, Crow Space Boy. It is awesome, indeed. Uh, it's awesome okay, that I'm not button, the one who has to play this. <laughs> every button is jump. <laughs> Why would you need more uh, input than like that? It's just like Sonic. <laughs> Why would you need to do anything more that. than jump? 
Oh boy! Yeah, this is already, I can already tell this is my favorite kind of platformer, uh, which is the one that, uh, it's huge they world, lots up. of verticality, <laughs> oh. and it seems like you really do have to collect a lot of items, like that like, counter in the top right corner. Is it mandatory that you collect every single bit of junk in the stage, or do you just need to get to the I'm end not of the sure stage? if it's every junk piece of junk, but we'll see. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna take two Ooh, slippery. I love the layers of parallax in the background, so you can see like the different layers of scrolling jungle, forest, whatever. It's definitely not nauseating. I'm so cool. Oh okay, no, okay, that counts up. Not down. What about that robot I mean, song? Do you, do you want to kill that robot? Should you do something about that robot? I think, he's having, I think he's having fun, you know. Yeah, at the expense of the everyone, environment. Everyone needs a hobby. <laughs> oh, boy. Listen, the game is called Awesome Possum Kicks Dr. Machino's Butt not and Saves the Environment. <laughs> Alright, that's a fair point. And I guess Dr. Machino's Butt, I mean, all his minions are absolved. Yeah. They're fine, they're fine. By the way, this game looks uh, hideous to me. Just this It's not one of the best pixel lookers. Vomit. I mean, we, this is like the console that gave us Sonic, you know. And you can tell this game wants to be Sonic, but they have accidentally made a Bubsy like. <sighs> what could possibly go wrong, as they say? I mean, down to the fact that there's options in there for how much do you want him to talk. Which is something they would add later to the Bubsy series. So this game was... Oh, like, that was cool. The, the way that that thing followed you and hit you two extra times. And it was just completely out of your control. That seemed very cool. Awesome. Ow. <laughs> My ass. <laughs> <laughs> now, I can't help but notice that, you know, in addition to the controls seem like they're just uh, not where they need to be. The frame rate's also no. uh, struggling. <laughs> Okay, so that's not just me then. <laughs> yeah, that is uh, the state of the game. To a certain degree, like I have, I'm trying to figure out how much of the jank is on my end and how much is on uh, the game because, like, it feels like there's really bad input delay. But I'm starting to think that's just the game. I think that might just be the game. Uh, Match Meow says this game really is like the worst case scenario when it comes to the Genesis color palette. Thank you. Uh, Moo, we're calling this a 3 FPS platform. It's, it's more like 15. It might be dropping to 20 yeah. or 15. You know, they're trying to draw, drop to the visibles. It's 30 I, I, when it's <laughs> when it when it can be. Is it? <laughs> I don't think I've seen 30 in here yet. It, it, it happened a couple times. Oh, right Never back at the beginning up. of the stage. That rules. No checkpoints. Who needs them? Start, start the stage over. Never give up. But now I can spin because I picked a power up. I can't attack those things. That's why I'm like leaving those things alone because they just seem to hurt me. I don't think. I, okay. Oh, you turned I them can green for attack. a second. They're going green. Which make which makes me think that I'm I'm healing him. You know, if I know my video game language, <laughs> green means heal. Johnny Baghead says, "Whoa, this possum is awesome." Yeah, I mean, truth in advertising, right? You no, know, I mean, has a video flying. game title Look ever lied to us before? Now you've gone and done it. Uh, Crow Space Boy says, my died. hobbies... You've injured me. <laughs> my <laughs> hobbies, knitting, painting, deforestation. Well, everyone's got to have their hobbies, <laughs> like you said. <laughs> it, oh. whoop, okay, he does not have an attack. He has a uh, goodbye button. Magic Meow says, fun fact, both this and Bubsy came Ow. out in the same year. Oh, that's what possum looks like when they die, I guess. Hate to see it. What did he say? Did he say, my bad? <laughs> Is that what he said? He's apologizing because he knows the controls for this game aren't adequate enough. He knows that, you know, if you had your way, you'd keep him alive. There That's go. some pristine speech quality. I know it's like it's 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 dumb. It's it's pointless to like, you know, kick down at games that tried to do the sampled speech thing before you could just actually put like actual samples on a disc or whatever. When they had to be compressed to like one kilohertz. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, okay. Come on. You'll pollute no more. You'll pollute no more, he says. Defiant Optimus says, gee, why is your game barely hit an F uh, 15 FPS? Puts 12 layers of parallax scrolling in oh, the Oh, yeah, I found a checkpoint. <laughs> Great. You only have one life left, though, to live, yeah. so. 
Well, maybe if I collect, maybe if I eat enough garbage, then I will get more lives. And I have to assume that is what I am doing. That I'm just consuming all the garbage. Good one. Thank you. That's what he said. Uh oh. I'm, I'm just parroting <laughs> the possum. <laughs> Just scientifically tuned to be the most annoying mascot character possible. <laughs> you know what would have helped him? I prefer opossums with the, with the gray fur and the white face. If he was a little bit cuter, then maybe, maybe I'd give this game a chance. Do, do I have a move where I can like hang by my tail or something? Because that would be possible. Do you have any moves whatsoever besides just jumping? I think it's just jumping. Well, I I have uh, also I also have the ability of knowledge, which we will see here. Oh, the council is than... judging you. Uh, well, rice, right? Yeah, I earned ten thousand points. And, and you pleased all the animals, which is the more. Can you do me a favor? Can you give me a rewind? Uh, you want to see what happens if you get one wrong? Yes, I want to show people what happens when you get one wrong. Yeah, I, I can certainly do that for you. The fine optimist thing, I forgot about the quiz. All I remember about this okay. game is the quiz. Uh, I think, uh, I don't know, pizza? Everyone likes pizza. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, the monkey in particular looks, like, mortified. Everyone else is kind of pissed, but the monkey's The tiger pissed. is going to kill me. Or the cheetah is going to kill me. Leopard? You gotta live with this, by the Bonus? way. Now, I'm not rewinding so you can get the quiz right this right. time. Bonus level. Canonically, uh, Awesome Possum actually doesn't know shit about the environment. You don't gotta know about to be passionate about it. Oh, God. <laughs> Why'd you go that way? <laughs> what I was trying to go was over gonna it. <laughs> I tried to go over the thing, not just through the thing. But no, you're right. Like Awesome Possum, Awesome Possum is passionate, but he doesn't know anything about the environment. He th he thinks that uh, you can grow grow concrete like trees. A real doofus. Nebula Abbott asks, "Is this Amiga?" Yo, you you would think so, but you based on the fact that it's a one button game too, it seems to be. Yeah, <laughs> you know, real Amiga <laughs> energy. I will say that. <laughs> no, well, that's so much for that bonus stage. Uh, Magic Meow saying, no, this is Genesis, but it does have Amiga vibes. In, in How much space. much paper is this person? Uh, God, you know, I go through at least 600 pounds a year. At least. But I'm going to guess uh, 140 pounds. That's no, the wrong it answer. Was C is the answer to the question. At least they tell you what the correct answers are. Yeah. It's nice of them to do. They didn't have to do that. But I, I mean, I, I guess if we'll it's an educational to... game, I guess they do want you to learn something from it. And I assume that is why that there's a question review in the option, so you can just do the trivia portion. Which is, to be fair, the most playable part of this. Yes, most certainly. Most functional. Uh, no, you know, I can't so... destroy those things. Oh, oh, I can't destroy those robots that are sawing, but they can hurt me. Well, yeah, they point so the saw just... upwards and you just get gutted by it. Uh... You know, this gives me, obviously, a lot of vibes of, of a game I've covered on the Bye. website. Rest in fucking... Oh, Jesus Christ! Did you see him turn into a skeleton? We didn't see that the first time he died, or the second that's, time he died. Yeah, that's teaching you about uh, compost and de uh, decomposition. You see, now Awesome Possum's giving back to the environment the only way he has left. Yeah. In his capacity. Oh, secret. Wow, that was incredible! <laughs> so many of the, so many like the the things that let you move fast are things that are just there to kill you. Like people complain about Sonic doing that, but the games that try to be Sonic do it way worse. Yeah, I want to give you a couple message more messages from the chat. Uh, sure. First of all, Koozie Koozie says that Electronic Games, the magazine, gave this a ninety three percent. I don't know what version of the game Huge they environmentalist. <laughs> I, I guess, there. yeah, I guess they realize that, uh, you know, you got to give back to this planet. Uh, this and game then is so full of traps. Louise PSC says uh, that they do have a story about animals being judged in a theater piece they did at school, and they say they should talk on the Discord. Yes, please. We, we do our usual post-show hangout in the Discord. I'll, I'll post the link below. 
Uh, Newfie Banga, uh, 1986, says, Geez, and Skeletonization is another Amiga Hallmark 2. Here's my best guess, is that this game was probably made with Amiga in mind in the same way that Captain Novelin, which is a game I was going to mention, ended up coming out in the SNES, uh, Raya Systems game there, but they absolutely had designs to make that a PC game, along with, like, AIDS Avenger, which never materialized, and, uh... What, what's what's Dr. Rex, like, the, the the dentist game, or the experimental surgeon game, whatever the hell that one is called. Yeah, I remember... I know what you're talking about, but... Yeah, uh... So, yeah, all these uh, educational games, at, at a moment in time, were, like... They are usually planned as PC games, because they want to get into the school markets. Uh, they want to get into the educational market, so they want to get their games in schools. And, you know, there was a period of time where we weren't sure if it was going to be, like, Windows catching on, or Macs, or Amigas. Could have been. Uh, Amiga was certainly the easiest to develop for at that point in time. So, uh, yeah, I and you can find, like, early bosses. screenshots. So I would just, again, I'm just saying that I would theorize this game probably had PC designs in mind. But ultimately... The most accessible thing you were going to get at this point in time was, like, a console, like the Sega Genesis or SNES. That's why Captain Novelin made the move. Speaking of Captain Novelin, badgamehallofame.com slash captain dash Novelin for the world's most, uh, the internet's most in-depth article, probably the world's most in-depth article on Captain Novelin, as written no, by yours there, truly. There's, like, a, there's like a five-volume book out there on print, but on well, the internet. Shit. I got scooped. All right. The horseshoe crab is really to the normal crab spider. I want to say it's the spray to the spider. Is that true? Okay. All right. Yeah. I, I, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking of a horseshoe crab. All right. I want to see level three proper to see if it's like a boss or not. What if it's like seven stages? What if they buck the trend of traditional like worlds one, two, three, and then move on to the next. What if they ditch the Sonic formula and just give you endless forest? I I cannot begin to describe how bad the controls feel, especially in this scenario where I'm on this and at this frame rate. It just doesn't look like you're controlling it uh, at all. No. It kind of looks like it's just happening to you, to Awesome Possum. Okay, I, I think this is the... There. Well, that's hardly going to get you also, a high this score. Was, this was made by... Oh, um... Which animal's feet support more weight per square inch? A person's feet or an elephant's feet? I wonder. Uh, I'm gonna guess a person. Wait, really? Oh, okay. We've got really, oh, per square uh, well... Inch. Okay, okay, I'm yeah. thinking about it now. I'm, I had to think about that for a minute. Oh, uh, you were saying right, that Tengen see. made Is, this game? Yes, this was a Tengen game, right? Did they have Amiga aspirations at any point? Because uh, I really only remember Tangen from Genesis and original Nintendo. Well, I mean, Tangen was an Atari brand. Right. Uh, in Atari, I guess they would have been like Atari ST, if anything. But I guess the ST probably would have not been, like, a consideration by 93. If, I, if I'm, like, reckoning correctly. I think they, they gave up on that relatively quick. I, w I wish he had, like... You know, like, the spinning thing he does? I wish it was, like, Sonic, where... Cool. No! Yeah, turn to a skeleton. No? Not this time. Only only when he falls down from a waterfall. I w oh, yeah. Wait, turn to a skeleton. No? I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. Uh, God, I remember what I was going to say. I'm back, Opossum's Tale. What do you, okay, so there, oh, there you go. He is, there Congratulations, is, okay. you've died. Are you just trying to put right, an well, end to this at this point? Oh, I want to see what happens on the game over screen. Rip. <laughs> well, now we're never going to know if there's a boss or not. Yeah. Should I? Should we rewind the clock, or should we move on? Why, Sumio Gweeb? Uh, you know, I feel like torturing you tonight, so, uh... <laughs> Alright. Good luck! Thank you. I want to see right. the end of this goddamn stage. Assume me I make it in two lives. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. You know that spin move he does when he's sometimes in here? Yeah, one well, that seems very I wish inconsistent. It was like, yeah, I wish it was like Sonic, where, like, that meant, like, I am in a state now where I can damage an enemy. Surely the rhino is my friend. 
yeah, I think all the animals on the council are your friends. I saw the the bee in the bottom left corner of it. <laughs> oh, unless I get some trivia questions wrong, in which case they're gonna fucking kill me. So is this pre Donkey Kong Country on SNES? That's 93? My... Um. Oh, this is cool. Oh. I guess you get better frame rate when I do this. We're getting the full 30 there. That's impressive. I want to say Donkey Kong Country was after 93? Well, then we know who ripped off who in this case. Yeah. yeah. That's... Uh, there doesn't seem to be a way for me to... Ah. Well, goodbye. Okay, I can't take him actually further into the level. Check this shit out. Pro Striker 92 says 1994 uh, for Donkey Kong Country. So yeah, there you go. Uh, that that Rhino guy in Donkey Kong Country. All right, Shigeru Miyamoto. You know we're about to out you as a plagiarist. Uh, please give me some health or something. I, I need have that. Seen the check. I need that meme template where it's like Shigeru Miyamoto quotes. You know, it's that one photo of him Fuck. in black and white, it's... and it, it's him saying, "I was wrong. I fucked up." I shouldn't have stolen from Awesome Possum. Cool. Magic Meow uh, uh, telling me, you mean Rareware. Miyamoto didn't work on DKC. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for trampling all over my bits. Yeah, you know, it's. I was really concerned about, like, <laughs> the authenticity of that bit there. <laughs> it's Dr. Doke in, in, a, uh, in front of a black and white photo saying, you're right, we fucked up. <laughs> Rare, we at Rare should not have stolen from Awesome Possum. <laughs> I guess I need to. Like, can you climb up that wall? Do you have like a Knuckles-esque climb? It looked like you were climbing oh. up it for like a second. Find the... Oh my god, you were so close. This is Can the time where rewind? I would rewind. This is, yeah. Oh, uh, there's a boss down here. You gotta give me a re rewind. Oh, why would I do that? You want to sit through the whole level again? I don't think it's the whole level. Let's see what's down there. Oh, oh wait. wait. Oh, there's flags to the left over there. Then why was there a checkpoint up? Oh, no, I have to beat the boss to activate the flag. Oh, I get what they're doing. If you, since you missed that checkpoint, if you fuck up on this boss, you have to replay the entire level. <laughs> yes, that that is what I was telling you when I was asking, hey, would you give me a rewind to the checkpoint? Because I knew what was happening. Well, I think we should, you know, play the game on its own terms. I mean, clearly it was designed very consciously and deliberately. To... That's how I would play this game, but... <laughs> Not thinking about the street, but whatever. This also doesn't seem that hard. Stop polluting! Is there more health down here? No. Uh, that, would, that would be nice of them to give you, right? So the answer is probably no. There. Are you gonna come back? Oh, he's so baiting you. There we go. Up. Oh, you gonna stop? Okay. Just in uh, time. Last trivia. One half of America's landfills will be full or closed by... Well, they haven't yet. <laughs> so... <laughs> oh, wait, one half. Never mind. So in two years or in 20 years? Or in... Two, more than 20 uh, years. In 100 years, potentially. I'm going to guess 2020, and it's probably going to be 1995. Yeah. Yep. You have displeased the animals. Right, let's see what the next stage looks like. Oh, it's a whole swimming level. It's an underwater no, sex no, series of it, levels. Well, let's see. Does this control any different? Wait, can you give me a rewind so I can hear what he says? I'm sure. You're annoying me, Bottom. Yeah, agreed. It's the voice of God. Yeah, it, it is just a swimming level. But I can... That's weird. Yeah, the physics on that you don't make any sense. You can still jump attack underwater while you're swimming. Well, Charky, this looks delightful. This, this looks... I did, again, I rented it as a kid. I think maybe multiple times, although now I'm starting to doubt that. 
You, I, I feel like you probably would have been one and done with this one. Yes. I think the thing is, I think the council like just stuck in my memory real hard. I thought these were robot fish. Yeah, I no, I, I thought the red fish would like be something. I thought any of those fish would like have anything. But clearly I was uh, wrong. Well, bye, bye, Stingray. Goodbye. I keep foolishly thinking that I'll have some sort of special move when I have these animal buddies, but no, it's just goodbye is the button. This is, uh, this is it's gonna be three levels of this. Oh, I know. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll pull you out. Uh, that was awesome. Possum yeah. kicks Doctor Machino's butt, and uh, boy howdy, that seemed dire. <laughs> Well, it's your spin. Oh, it sure is. Okay, let's get these wheels a spinning. Challenge time! Uh, I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna go middle, left, right. Um, middle. Ay, ay, ay. Good start. Left. That's it. All right. Nothing to it but to do it. Bah! Yay! Uh, can I get a mulligan? Can I get a redo? Can we get a... No, the judges are telling me no. no my my off-screen yeah, no. is telling me that I... Uh, Time for the awesome possum D make. At least it's, uh, as uh, ProStriker92 is saying, at least it's NES and not Super NES. You know, small miracles. <sighs> Do you know any NES platformers offhand? Oh, I know some fucking atrocious ones, but... Um... Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to save myself. I'm, I'm, I'm going to pick one that, I, that I've played before. Sure. Oh, would... you know what? That's, that's a classic Kusoge. Yeah, I, I think this will be... A fun pick. This is one that I at least have experience with, and this is one that uh, we've even written about extensively on, on the site before. That's right. It's Spelunker, Tim Martin Spelunker. Uh, BadGameHallFame.com uh, slash Spelunker should take you there, I believe. Uh, I hate this game. <laughs> I don't mind this one, actually. All right. Let's just jump there's off this a, platform. Look at that. Oh, yep. well, let's see. There you go. There's a oh. very specific aspect of this game that oh, I hate. Wrong button. You're kind of doing it. And, okay, well, that was Spelunker. Let's send it home. All right. Oh, you can pause the game over screen. You can't just skip the game over screen, but you can pause it. Wait, hold up. I need I need, I need, need to go use the restroom. Can you pause right oh, here? Oh, yeah, sure, the game sure. Over? Go. Good, cool. All right. All right, I'm back. All right, cool. That was a quick one. I have a bedpan. Anyway. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can do this with relative efficiency. So obviously the thing about this game is that uh, falling from even two feet uh, will kill you. The, the and, world's and weakest you know, protagonist. And you know what just... what The thing that I makes me hate this game. It, it's the falling. But it's not the fact that you can't fall from any height. Fuck's sake! <laughs> it's the fact that they don't give you the courtesy to hit the ground. <laughs> God damn it! That's, wh that's why I hate this game. Uh, they could have had go. the same fall damage, but at least let me hit the ground first. Because if I die in midair, it's just like... Okay, maybe you're saving me a little time, but it feels like I'm being cheated. You know, I've actually beaten this game. Like, I, I do... I've beaten this... Multiple times. Is... I've been it on the higher difficulty levels where you start to hide the uh, the things from you, the uh, the keys that no, you absolutely good, need. Yeah. Oh, right. You're close to the bomb. Yeah. I mean, I know this is an extremely beatable game. I used to be pretty good at but... this, too. Yeah. Let, let's give this another go. Uh, fly, fly a ball or fee a ball says, for some reason, this game is really well known to Japan. They even have a phrase that translates to have the fortitude of a Splunker. Yeah, it's called Splunker's Fortitude. They use it at uh, baseball games. There's one baseball player in particular who is very injury prone that they refer to as being like a Splunker. And they would play the, this song over the speakers at the stadium whenever he <laughs> came up to bat, which I would just, if I was that player, I'd be fucking Retire. pissed. Yeah, but uh, but uh, the reason why this game was so well-known in Japan is because there's a little game that came out in Japan called Load Runner, 
uh, that Broader Bun had happened to publish, and that game did fucking numbers. Like, one of, like, the biggest games to ever come out there, uh, supposedly. And so Broader Bun was chasing games that would hit up that kind of high, that would do that kind of business for them. And one of their attempts at that... I, I'm gonna rewind that do one. That. Let me, because I, I, I think I want to do something here. I think it's, is there a secret up here? No, I, no, I there you are getting in the hard difficulties, but. No, there are still secrets where you can jump in places to. Uh... I I, I'm thinking of that specific spot, though. I don't think there's anything where you thought there was. There you oh, are. What were you saying, Charky? Oh, what was that? You're going to doubt this spelunker I experts. literally meant, <laughs> I literally meant in that specific spot that you were jumping to. I didn't All mean right, in the game enough. in general. <laughs> Listen, I may hate this game, but I know a few things about it. Fuck's sake. <laughs> the latter stuff is particularly brutal. I got to like edge uh, off of that there. Yeah. I will also say that um, some of the more recent Spelunker stuff, because they're still doing Spelunker. Yes, Spelunker uh, Party. Like Spelun Spelunker Party. I enjoy that one. Uh, it's just the original Spelunker I'm not a fan of. You're not thrilled about this one. Why could that be? Okay, so you can't break the walls. I just got to go around for that one. I forget how stingy they are. Uh, I forget if they are super stingy about, like, your supply of bombs and stuff. Uh, they give you a couple extra bombs. Jesus, wept. Mm -hmm. All right, let, 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 let's cheat this, because I want to... Let's see if I can beat this. this. This isn't a particularly long adventure. I should also mention that there's, you know, obviously, like, an uh, Atari 800 version of this, the original version of it that Tim Martin developed, and that game does not have quite as brutal a difficulty. Even the arcade so version of Spelunker doesn't have, the one that was made in Japan did not have quite so brutal difficulty. That one was on me, I should have remembered what that, what um, that was. Some people in chat were kind of surprised to see the ghost in this version. Uh, let's see. Fuck's sake. Prospector <laughs> says, seriously, if if not for the easy deaths, this game would be awesome. Uh, so I, I wanted to quickly say uh, that I wanted to interview Tim Martin about this game, about how, you know, because he was basically unaware until like a few years ago, until like 2010-ish, with that, that PlayStation Network Spelunker game. Uh, he was unaware of like the game's reputation in Japan because he kind of retired from the game's business. He got into like electrical engineering. He was... He's one of those guys that has spent years trying to find, like, perpetual energy devices. That does... Yeah. There's supposed to be a way I was about to... to say, I was about to say, bombing that bat from there and perpetual energy devices don't work. Yeah. So there was a time where, like, me and him were communicating, and he was, like, very appreciative of the article. And then I think he actually read a footnote in there where I kind of made, like, the, the most, like, minimal amount of fun of him. For, for the perpetual energy stuff. And specifically that he had worked on an album of perpetual energy, like, inspired songs. He had produced some album, like, some, like... Effort. That album better fucking loop. You would hope so. Uh, and then he stopped responding to my email. So that's one I blew. That, that's certainly one uh, opportunity to interview an industry icon that I fucking blew. <laughs> by, by, by doing that. But, you know, well, listen, you win you, some, you, you lose some. You got a new member on staff who can <laughs> try and communicate with them. There's so more than like mind pass, all right? Yeah. No, I'm this... sure you're on the right track. Yeah, I'm sure you're a day away from... There's also a Spelunker 2 on... Fuck this. Uh, the Spelunker 2 on NES that is, like, you're also more of a traditional-ish adventure game. Yeah, well, if I run out of oxygen, I, run, I, I lose a life. There, worse things could happen. Uh, hey, folks at home, did you know this game has an oxygen machine too? You're being timed. I don't mind, as long as I make it back to the elevator. <laughs> well. Nope. <laughs> Great. This part stinks, and this, this is the only time you see it in the entire cavern. I call this wasteful design, where you spend all this time working on, like, this mechanic, and then you just don't use it uh, to its full advantage. And this this game, like, cuts stuff out of uh, the Atari 800 version. 
in order to make room for some more of these like assets and graphics and stuff. I'm sure you said it. Which one was the original version again? It was Atari 800. It was like home computer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Atari 800. I think I have a red key, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I should be able to just walk through both of these. Yep. New music. Actually, no, hold on. I think there is, before I, I let this elevator check me away, I think the sign that there are, like, secret things is... No, wait, no, I was just completely off. Okay. I thought there was a secret here, but, but alas, the answer is clearly no. Is... I'm gonna look this up myself before I ask this question out loud. Fuck! <laughs> That's Should've me. known. I'll take that one. I do think that they signposted that, because I think there was like a little hole at the bottom A little of it. divot on it, yeah. Wouldn't surprise yeah. me. This game's not entirely unfair. <laughs> yeah, they, like, they... I talk about how much I, I hate it, but like, Fuck. some of that is performative, but I really fucking hated it the first time I played this game, which was like in my teenage years. What, you're saying that, that, that we could get performative angry at some of these games sometimes on the show? I've never, I would never, uh, pretend to dislike something to such an extreme. Never, never for the sake of a show or for a bit. You're gonna have to cut oh, that uh, mean... performative uh, stuff out because it has no place on this show and this channel. <laughs> oh, you can also see my level of performative anger is just saying, I hate this game. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's as far as I'm willing to go. <laughs> You know, people ask me sometimes, oh, the whole, like, hating the SNES thing and, like, the Genesis, that entire generation, hating platformers, that's a bit. That's just performative. No, that, that's real. It's all real. I tells ya. Okay, Spelunker Party is on Steam. I wanted to make sure. It is also on sale. Ooh, how much? Fifteen bucks. That's maybe a little too much for Spelunker Party. I would get Icky Ansel Unite for, for, uh... For a song if it was on sale. No going on my wish list. <laughs> I think I got it for like 15 bucks on the Switch at some point. Ha <laughs> ah, there you go. See those those cracks is, and all those what faces in the wall? That's where they show yeah. you where the secrets are. Oh, oh. oh god, that no, that's deadly. Yeah, this is the that's most dangerous power up in the game. You get that ghost time? Nope. nope. But I want to keep this uh, speed up, so I'm gonna go ahead and. Oh well. Nope. Sorry for the screen flashing too, as I'm rewinding and having to do that. Oh, for, for fuck's sake! You know what? Just take the death at this point. This whole area is a trap. Yeah. God damn it! I walked okay, off the edge without jumping. Don't, maybe, maybe don't take that death. <laughs> or that God death. damn. <laughs> because I'm still sped up even though I died and Alright, well there we go. I, I there was a point in time where I was able to do that, this legitimately without rewinds or any of that stuff. That right. bat needs far less fiber in its diet. Is there nothing I could do? Oh I, I don't think it's no, the flares. I, yep, I forgot yeah. about the flares. I was wondering why you kept trying to bomb the bats. <laughs> I, it's it's up. Yeah, it's up and B for flare, down and B for bomb. Okay. This, you are out of bombs now, though. I'll make do. Get a little of this jumping puzzle. I mean, this is incredibly hazardous for... Uh, what's this guy's name? Does he have a name? Uh, Spelunker guy. Spelunker dude. Look at that. That's what they call Look him in the that. anime. They call him Spelunker dude? Yeah, the Spelunker guy, or like Spelunker sensei, because he's a teacher in that anime. An anime animated what? entirely in Flash, fuck me in the face. Uh... <laughs> God damn it, what am I doing here? <laughs> what what does the game want me to do here? I should be asking. Okay. That <laughs> Why are you doing this to me, Splunker? No one has championed you as much as I have. And that's a fact. That's a straight fact. That I have I have stood up for this game. I have <laughs> 
I've written long form about this. And this is how it repays me. <laughs> Belunker is a cruel mistress. Clearly. What else? I'm trying to remember what else came out of uh, Broderbund's excursions on NES. Oh, it was fuck this, you, it was game. It was Load Runner, uh, Raid on Bungling Bay, I think. Uh, there, there, if you read my article, I get into, like, all the attempt sets. Them trying to recapture this. Atlantis, no, wait, no, Atlantis and Oz, it was Sunsoft. Right? Yeah. Yes. It's... What am I doing here? Ruder uh, Bund, I think. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna die if I if I jump to the side here, right? Yeah, of course. Why why would I think otherwise? If I go down, yeah, of course, that's a death too. You know what? It's just <laughs> I mentioned that I love platformers. <laughs> How? I was on the rope! Why did yeah, I Yeah, you're jump? on the ropes, alright. What is going on here? <laughs> Why can't I... It's, it's, it's like the jump isn't responding right now. I think it's because I have to, like, tap left... No. I... I give up. At least it puts me there. Okay, Nintendo Life. Nintendo Life has a real shitty list for all games by Raider Bund. I, 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 because I'm so close to done with this. Because it's... Because they do not have... They do not have Spelunker on here. So, that's... <laughs> the, these ropes are really the most perilous thing in the fucking game, because to jump off of them left to right, you have to, like, inch your way, because instead of just, like... You know, the fact that I have left and right purchase on here, it should have snapped me to the center. That that would be the such the obvious thing to do. Ghost. <laughs> I, I give up. Uh, I'm done with Splunker. Uh, go read the article. Uh, there was a point in time where I had patience for this, but uh, today is not that day. I'm uh, that is not this lifetime. Can you see? Uh, that's going to be it for that one. Boy, they. Three hey. up. Hey, Sharky, it's, uh, is it your turn? Chance time! Uh, chance it is time. my turn. Yes. All right. Uh, tell me the order right. you want to do it in, and I will make it happen. All right. And I'm going to uh, drink it. I'm going to do it. I hate doing it this way, but I'm going to do it just once. I'm going to do it right to left. Mm-hmm. All right. So, uh, tell me who's playing. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know who it is, because I don't see OBS. Oh, oh it's me. Know. Okay. I right, tell me, what's the genre? What Platform the again. fuck? All right. What's the console? A PlayStation a PS2 2 platformer. Platformer. What is the deal with these fucking platformers today? Welcome to platformer night. <laughs> Worst night of the year. Uh, uh, I don't have... I, I'm doing a genre. I'm undertaking a genre project where I'm trying to get everything properly tagged in my library for the purposes of... Uh... <laughs> Nebula says, daily enter the dragonfly run. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. You want to do it? Yeah, I can. Okay. I mean... we're... Perhaps you should explain what's right. happening here, what we're doing here, why we're so, doing what we're doing. So in... In the Discord server, we have the Bad Game of the Month Club. And right now, kind of the de facto game is Spyro Enter the Dragonfly, which I don't have a huge history on this at the moment, but uh, it was the first PS2 one. Uh, I I think it was the first one that wasn't done by Insomniac. Yeah, this was done by Equinox and uh, Check Six Studios. Uh, it says and... content blending is accuracy is basic. I want to set the content blending accuracy to high, and then I will. Yeah. Uh, this, also, also, this is another game we have an article on the site for, by the way. Yes, so I was about to mention that. If you want the full story. Uh, but this game is very broken. Now, granted, a lot of the Spyro games are broken, but this game is very broken, like, from the jump. And it makes it a game that I... Uh, 
have learned how to speed run. So you know what? No, we're not going to make new save data. Yeah, when I played Don't this uh, for stream, we I also streamed this entire game uh, like years ago, around the time I was writing the article or guest helping a guest writer write the article, I should say. Got to get this intro though. Yeah, we got to watch the cut. Dirty cat. They sure do look happy, don't they, Spyro? Well, it's not every day. So, yeah, this is uh, just to advertise the server a little bit. Uh, yeah, we do have the bad game of the month club where we like pick a game, play it. We've uh, not been great on that so far. We're still trying to work that shit out. But By which I mean, I, I, I want to give it to someone else to take charge of it because yeah. I, I don't want to have to think about it ever. <laughs> Yeah, this is sort of unofficially officially this month's game. So we've got people playing it. Uh, Nebula, who suggested this in chat, just 100 percent it. Uh, but I have been taking to speedrunning this game at least once a day. We would make a great team. So I'll keep it under half an hour for sure. I, I you know, I'm gonna hold you to it. You're okay. not hired for your brains, you dinosaurian land mass! Keep thinking and I will send you back to the place I found you, unemployed in Molten Crater, begging for work from Nasty North. Now, back to what I was saying. What a villain. Well, what... What an animation. I'm glad that you... He, he animated like the title screen of like Great. Super Mario 64. To do with dragons, I thought. Uh, Kuziku's saying, imagine speed running this game as a quick morning ritual. That's what you've been doing, basically. A evening ritual, granted. <laughs> the evening ritual for me, yeah. Nebula, that Nebula is saying the splits for this game can get pretty merciless. I'll be on top of the splits as best I can, but I mean. <laughs> well, I mean, this is. I, I haven't skipped this cutscene, so it's already, like, not <laughs> a proper run at this point. Implies the dragons are nothing. I never knew how long this was because I never. Because you've skipped it a hundred times. You haven't also. Yeah. You, you didn't watch Nebula finish this game, but the actual end of this game. You've only ever seen the non one hundred percent ending. That little lizard totally. That's right. Yeah. Oh, the dragon. I mean, I think I I saw the um, <clears throat> uh, new game plus that YouTube channel that does a bunch of challenge runs. I saw them do a run where they could never glide or use their wings, and that was as close to one hundred percent as they could manage. PlayStation versus this game also has some uh, rough loading times. Yeah, I think emulation is definitely helping things somewhat. I think I have accelerated. That was close, Sparks. You know what's great? It's that the, it's that the, 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 the dragon body is clearly saying stuff. Like, you know, like, there's like intentionality to what they're saying. It's not mm -hmm. just the same -ba 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 -ba, copy and pasted for every single dragonfly sound in this game. Whoa! But, and we'll see that, like, in the game where they actually give him subtitles. I'm still learning, you know, Spyro. The good news is, I've created a powerful magic that will. I don't know who any of these characters are. Oh, they're from the PS1 games. You're gonna have to find I know, them. I played those. I don't remember any of them. The spell scattered them in different parts of the dragon realms. Cool. Come on, Sparks. I just know there's one guy who wants all your money. Work ahead of us if we want to find I think his name is literally Mr. Moneybag. Money. Yeah. Did he get cut off mid dialogue? Wouldn't be the first time, won't be the last time in this game. Uh, Johnny Back had pointing out that the purple guy is Spyro, so that should help. That's at least one character that we okay. now know. All right, good. I'll keep that in mind. If there's a second purple guy, I'm going to get confused. Okay, now here's some of those low this times is, I've heard about. Yeah. yeah, this is better low times. All right. Oh, why is it backwards? Why is the camera backwards? Is that a thing I have to... No, that shouldn't be a thing I have to set. I start from a fresh save every time. Huh. Weird, okay. Oh, well. I, you need I, to invert I, I them, I or... Okay. You know what? Yes, please. That would be helpful. All right. So is that just uh, like right analog stick you want inverted for this? Yeah. This should right. be in settings. Just go to settings. Invert right stick. Invert yeah. uh, up, down, or left, right, or both? Left, right. 
Okay. Yeah, that's weird. It doesn't do that for me when I play. Anyway. So this is Spyro. Let's just play it a little... Let's give the casual experience of this game, you know? Take, take this dragon rune to the spray. Okay, yep. Take the dragon rune to the dragon spirit. Okay. You, you, well, and, why are you cutting off the dialogue? It's... <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> Here, I won't cut off this dialogue. Yeah, you can tell, like, he's actually saying the words here. No, he's not saying the words, because it was not anything. No, he... he, he you are 1,000% wrong. He is clearly being like... Like, he's I mean, you're doing... right, he is being like that. Yeah. It, it's okay, just... so I think this is... I think this is the dragon spirit, or dragon thing they told me to go to. I'm supposed to deliver it here. So, uh, I don't know, what button is it? Triangle to deliver it? Yeah, I think that's right. All right, full send. All right, we're going to see the dragon. Let's cash in the treasure first. All three of them. He's just going to keep falling. All right, here's the dragon. I have your stone. Do you like it? Oh, if there's anything I hate more than a dragon, it's a purple dragon. You've caused me enough problems, Spyro. This time I'll take care of you permanently. Is that a threat? <laughs> Hocus Pocus. Big words come from a big man. Come here. I struggle to do this boss fight legitimately, by the way. Even with all the power-ups that the game gives you. You know, if you play the game regularly. Mm -hmm. It took me a while to figure out the, the pattern, but it's not that hard. I am going to get hit by that, though. Ooh. Yeah, that's the thing that kept happening the to me. Is is he, was... he, yeah, he wills, like, stunlock you. All right, I'm going to have to get some help just to be safe. Well, you're going to get hit now because you, you dilly-dallied. Yeah. Where'd you go? Oh. All right, now will you take the dragon stone? The bunny told me to give it to you. And you'll be sorry. You'll be very, very sorry. The magic of dragons can't last forever. Can it? What's this you complaining about? I have no idea. Anyway, next scene. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a pretty short one. Congratulations, well, thank Sharky. You. I don't know. That game didn't seem too bad. It seemed pretty short. It was, you know, it yeah. didn't waste your time. It's... <laughs> it took longer to watch that intro cutscene than it does to beat the game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Nebula pointed out a uh, fun fact. On the GameCube version of these credits, Sparks doesn't have eyes. Yep. Oh, gee. What? Yeah, <laughs> rendering effect. His that. eyes are just whites on the, uh, on the GameCube version. There's no pupils. Oh, God. Okay. It's supposed they're, to be a freeze oh, frame, but the particle least. effect going on there completely ruins it. There's always just, like, things fucked up on this. No matter which of the two versions you play. Okay, just white uh, seems better to me than if they were just black voids. <laughs> <laughs> I thought sure. at first. Uh, okay, so, that was that was a pretty pain. I don't see why you don't like platformers. These are easy. <laughs> if, if only they could be so easy. If only they could all be so easy. Uh, can I? Can uh, you Magic Mouse asked, "What's my best time?" I actually haven't gone in like you haven't bothered to time yourself. Specifically yourself. timed them because like I haven't had a run that I feel happy with yet. Like I'll feel happy once I don't get hit <laughs> by the boss. Fair. And I, I will say that, you know, if you want to see what this game's all about, if you want to see it in full-ish, 
you can always watch our stream or read our article on the subject. Badgamehallofame.com slash Spyro dash enter dash the dash dragonfly. Uh. <laughs> oh, uh, Louise asks was the, uh, if there was any platforming in this run. I jumped. I think that's it. I think we're literally just sitting through the credits now. I know we usually sit through all the credits, but are we going to yeah, do that for this one? Yeah, you know, that's fine. I, I don't think we need to really labor, belabor that game that much longer. Uh, whose turn is it? Uh, your turn. Yeah, I never remember when we come in and out of those games. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess it's time for... Challenge time! Uh... How do I want to do this? I'm just going to do it left or right. Uh, give me a console. Arcade. Give me a genre. What the fuck, Charky? <laughs> no. Platformer night. Platformer night. I swear, like, it is random chance. It is a video file that stops, and it can stop on any of the frames. It just keeps choosing to stop on this frame tonight. Rostrick says no more platformers, please. <laughs> oh my god, who's gonna play this? Uh, uh, okay, there we go. Alright. Okay, thank god. As long as it's not Enter the Dragonfly Arcade Edition. Alright, this is the arcade version they had in development. We have early access to it. I fey. I want raw thrills. Uh, imagine me asking, do we need to remove decibels. platformer from the options? Please. <laughs> if, I, if I could. If I could get away. <laughs> uh, wait, no, that's, that's I, the... I, I, I want to know how many genres are on that wheel, and I want someone to do the math on, like, what are the odds that we've gotten four platformers in a row? My, my tagging is still completely busted here because it's telling me there's only one platformer game in my collection. It's Haunted Castle, which you already played. So it's clearly that's... What is going on here? What other genre could I accidentally have all these games tagged under? You know what? Fuck it. Action? I, I guess so, huh? No, there's just something busted with, okay. my, with, with my genre search. Okay, we're just going to have to do this Just, just look at Arcade. Yeah, just look at Arcade and see what sticks out. It's not letting me unselect platformer either, which is... I'm, now I'm starting to get ticked off. Uh, it's, it's, Launchbox is saying no more platformers. The fuck is this? Okay. We're going to find out? Yeah, I think we're going to find out. Is this a platformer? <laughs> this looks like... I know what this looks like from those screenshots. <laughs> I think this is a platformer. Oh, wait, no, that's... I forgot to disable my source. Everything's coming up uh, not cast right now. <laughs> Why did your winner pop up? Because I, I had a, a thing checked that I wasn't supposed to have checked. Okay. All right. Here okay, we go. You need this to is set the controls for me? Or? Yes, I absolutely do. For this system, give me an up. Give me a down. Left. Right. Button one. Uh, I hope this makes sense. Button two. I hope right, I didn't I'll... just give myself opposite. Oh, this is a two-player game. Well, that's too bad, because you're the one playing it. So, uh, yeah. here you go. This is a 1988 game by Sun A. Bye-bye. Do I control both at once, or is it going to be... It's going to be one at a time. Yeah. Hold on, I'm going to strip control away for, like, a second, because I need to... Okay, okay denied me my upside-down tomato. And your birthday cake. Cigarettes? Cigarettes? Yeah, cigarettes are good. Part of any here first. balanced breakfast. Okay, no run. Uh, Codeman38 says... Oh, no! <laughs> Codeman38 says this is certainly a game. Sci42 says, oh boy, hardhead. Magic Meow says this Rugrats prequel looks fucked up. Uh, <laughs> so it's like Mario Bubble Bobble? 
something like that? Uh, well, bye. I mean, at least the controls seem like... Functional? Oh, let me tell you. They're not great, actually. <laughs> Is it just like, is the jumping bad or? Just, well, oh, fuck. The fact that it's impossible to follow your character on the screen at, at, when you reach the top of the screen is definitely not ideal. Okay. Let's just do that. So I don't have to bubble them. No, you can just jump on them. I can get so height by bubbles. choose. To kick that ball. This is just straight up the Pac Man house. Pac Land. <laughs> Why? What a mean trick to play on you. Oh, was I supposed to jump on the boulder and then hit the goal? Or was that literally just there to hurt me? Oh, God, is that our offspring? Oh, from that no. kiss earlier? <laughs> This is weird. This is I've never seen this game before. <laughs> yeah, I mean I have it, so I mean that means I consciously like saw it somewhere and determined like, oh yeah, I should have this in the library. Jesus oh, Christ! God. Ay ay ay. That's so mean. <laughs> you know what? Okay, you know what's bad about the jump is that he, Jesus, he seems to have like a sudden acceleration at the very end of it. <laughs> Like, let me do that in Flatland so you'll see it better. Like, look at his, like, horizontal momentum. Yeah, it doesn't really match up to the, the it, vertical. It's like, he, the ascension. it's like he does a dive kick. How are you supposed to get past this? Oh, not like that. Oh, you gotta put your name in the high score list, for, for starters. Yeah, very good. Uh -huh. Oh, no, why am I? Okay. I think I accidentally pressed the uh, wrong... Uh... Codeman says, I'm amazed y'all hadn't seen this. This is indeed a classic in the Kusuke communities. Huh. Like like I said, that I, I, I know I've, like, I've seen it before. I just never played it for myself. Like, obviously, for it to be in my library means that I've encountered it in some capacity, seen it heard tell of it, but uh, you know what I'm going to do? You're going to jump in? Okay, here I am. All right, so I'm blue, Charky's red. Because I, I just want to see there's Whoa. a way to get past this. We can jump on each other. Here, jump on my head and use that to jump across. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Is this, like, vaporwave... Uh, what's the song I'm thinking of? Like, like slowed and chopped and reverb, uh, chopped and screwed. Like, what is it? Whoops. This Someone is in so chat, dark. tell me what this song is. <laughs> oh, it's the Dragon Balls. Oh, there you go. Okay, so are we supposed to jump on these? Guess so. Whoop. Whoop. You grab the key. Yeah. Okay. Don't go too far. Uh, <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> this is this is going to kill me that I can't remember the name of this song. Nope. Oh, no, I'm dead. Oh, we lucky we didn't jump or that something. High. Oh, oh no! I can't. Cool stuff is happening. Oh. <laughs> Boss. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful sound sample stuff here. Really great audio rates. <laughs> can we do that in heat? Ooh. Oh, you sure can. <laughs> oh. OK. 
Okay, so I got bumped so high up that I died in like the sky. I died at like. Well, let me let me get myself here too. Here, wait. See if you can. Wait. Oh, oh I I got this. Jump over me, and I'll I will do this. I'll. Okay. Oh okay, wait, so I can get up there. Oh, you know what I think they wanted me to do though? Was get that soccer ball that was all the way back there into this goal. Yeah, well that's not fucking happening. Okay. Uh there was a big message in chat I wanted to read. I am headful. Uh, is quoting from, I'm assuming, someplace that talked about this game. Yuri Sinclair also compared the game to Super Mario Bros., calling it a trip to Nintendo's game. They also made note of the game's offbeat humor, saying that the game was a good laugh, and exactly the same as one of the funniest computer games ever. If they say so. Hey, look, we're Tom Hanks. Yeah. Tom Hanks and his brother, who always plays Tom Hanks. <laughs> What's that guy's name? Uh, Toby Hanks. I don't know. Is it? It's the guy whose l literal job in the industry is Tom Hanks impersonator. Yeah, and he does like that his voice in video games for like characters like yeah. Woody or whatever. Disney skateboarding at all. Oh, this is a boss stage, maybe. What was? What is this? Boom! Oh, that's the thing dying. Oh, do we need to shoot these? It's hard to tell what, what, I've what damages each of these different types of enemies. I love the boom sound effect. I love all the sound effects in this game. None of them are annoying at all, and de none of them are definitely none of them are blown out at all. Oh, no, we gotta I'm get glad. the heart. We gotta get the heart. Jump left. Just I jump need more health than you do. Oh wait, it's not health. It's this. I forgot. Uh, I'll give he you. He works out life. at the fucking library. You... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? Whoops. How is that supposed to work? Oh, because I was dead. They made you. Fully aware of what I'm doing. Oh, I'm doing a drink up. See? I gotta do that drink up before we uh before we continue, clearly. Mm. This is a heavy drinking night. Ugh. No! Rondo Alat <laughs> Rondo Alaturka. That's the name of the fucking song I was trying to think of. I hate platforming. <laughs> Uh, Protrigger92 saying this game had a squeak wool hard head too. The head is harder. Teamwork. <laughs> There's a lot of potential for sabotage here. Like that one uh, Super Mario game. You mean Super Mario? No, the one that where you can play like together. Oh, Mario like... Brothers, Mario Brothers. No, the, you know the one. I, it, it's like on Wii or Wii U or 3DS or Switch or something. Uh, one of those oh, modern oh. ones. I think we can hit it in there. Fuck. Well, we we don't have rewind in Mame, so that's yeah. just, we just gotta let that ball play where. I it mean, lay. okay. So to be fair, Mario Brothers is entirely a game about sabotaging your co-op partner. Yeah, I mean, yes, but like the what, new Super Mario but Bros. I know, people are yes. saying. Yes, you're also correct. Oh, that's... Bean. Well, that's the name of the game here, isn't it? It's also... I don't know, it's still wild that cigarettes are a power-up in this. Like, it's, you it's have all the fruits funny. and stuff. Oh, we both died at the same time. <laughs> There's gotta be like some tactics. There's gotta be some tactical application of of jumping on each other's heads to like speed things up, to clear multiple blocks at once or something. There's a little bit of wrecking crew in here in terms of uh, this mechanic. You know, I, I like Thank your idea. I don't think we can get up there though. We can. Maybe. Possibly. I don't think so. No. I. No. I think that's just there for fun. 
Magic Meow is chiding me. How could you forget such a memorable and unique name as New Super Mario Bros? God damn. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm dead. Don't worry, you're, you'll, I'm tagging you back in. <laughs> you know what I want. Yeah. Oh, I'm stuck until you move. I'm gonna redeem a drink up. Let's just uh, let's just sit here for a while. Let's just think about this. Oh, you know what? I I have <laughs> my not. stream all. I was about to say I have my stream snack. <laughs> well, you always jump I'm in my head. I'm fully aware of what I'm doing. <laughs> Can you see? Yeah, just keep it there. Actually, I can't. Oh, I'm getting, we're getting a couple drink ups. I'm fully aware of what I'm doing. Mm. Can you mm. see? Well, I can't move on until you move, so I'm gonna. Oh, well, there is a time limit on the stage. What I'm doing. Okay. Can you well, see? On every stage. What's on the stream stage. snack, Sharky? Uh, it's just the ham and cheese again. Well, get up here and get that heart. Uh, what if they animated the tongues on that? What if they animated like a, a <laughs> sloppy <laughs> French kiss? That'd be the only way they could improve that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> You know, we don't have to keep playing it. We don't owe this this audience anything. No. It's... <laughs> but you know, we're like, we're both... We're both, like, so curious about this thing now. <laughs> this is a present from me to you. Thank you for putting out a uh, community gift sub. I can't uh, save myself. Can I, I think go I back? Have to, I have to get myself killed here because I... Oh, I, we're actually softlocked until... Yep. Okay. Well, I see the soccer ball, so we gotta be close to the- Oh, well, there goes the soccer ball. Devious. Why- wait, I unlocked a key for that door down there. There's no- It's so you can get the second player out of there, like, in a soft lock situation, possibly. Oh, okay. would be my guess. Well, that's five stages, and that's probably five stages too right. many. But uh, maybe we'll come back to this one. Maybe we'll, we will have to do a full run of this game at some point. Oh, what's this song it's called? Cisco's Pose? Something like that? Only Cisco I know about uh, Unleashed a Dragon and, uh, and sing about thongs. That's going to do it for Hard Head. It, it's hard, all right. All right. And that head it is, is, is quite it is large. My, my turn to spin the wheel. Spin the wheel, make a deal. Uh, hold right. on, let me, let me play the sound clip. Challenge time! All right, you know, actually, before we do it, I do have other sound clips here. I just haven't thought to use them, but I have... Clear! And I have... Finish! Game over. Go! Miss! Ready? New record! We are the superstar! So I have all those. I ripped all those sound effects. Uh, but the only, only one we end up using is... Challenge time! So, uh, with that in mind, tell me what order you want to go in, and I will make it happen. All right. Uh, let's go... We're gonna go middle, left, and then right. Okay. So, give me... Genre? Thank God it's not Buzzer. a platformer. So, it goes to all show right. that random chance... It, randomness is truly random, and it means that you can get the same thing four fucking times in a row. Give me console. Super, Super Nintendo. Nintendo Puzzler. And who's playing it? All right. It's gonna be you. A bad puzzle game for the Super Nintendo. Um... Let's see what I got. Uh, Nebulabit says if it's SNES, I vote Zoo. That's okay. You could say that for literally any console that came out before the year 2000. I don't think I have Zoo on me at the moment. I don't know if I have any sort of also, game on me. I would also say Zoo is more boring than anything else. Quack. I don't think Clax was on the SNES, was it? Um, 
it, it was on everything else. That means I could probably grab if it exists on the SNES. I can get a copy of of Clax real quick. I'm sure. Entertain the good people for a minute. Tell tell them oh, about the sure. things that we do, the things they ways they to support the channel and whatnot. Oh, support the channel. Okay. Well, in that case, you could subscribe or gift a subscription. Forget to make yourself anonymous. You could uh, support us on Patreon. You could. Hang out on the Discord and uh, boost the, that server. Or you can just, you know, like, subscribe, follow here on YouTube, all that. Check all out right. the website. I'm going to list the versions of, of Clax that uh, exist. Yeah, Arcade, there's no Amiga, SNES Amstrad Clax. CPC, Am Atari 2600, Atari 5200, Atari 7800, Atari ST, BBC Micro, Commodore 64, DOS, FM Towns, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Gear, Genesis, Linux, Lynx, MSX, NES, PC88, PC98, Sam Coop. Huh? Uh, the Sharp X868000, the Master System, the TurboGrafx-16, and the ZX Spectrum. <sighs> or more no. simply, Codeman chat says, no SNAS class. All right. Uh, it's, what, was, what was the first one? Zoop? Zoop. I'll do it just so that we can get one and get it done. Unless someone names another one in the next two seconds. <laughs> going once, going twice... Gone. Prepare for some right. zoop. Works well with the 12 second uh, stream delay. Uh, let's see here. What emulator do I use? Or which, which, which console do I use? What console SNES? Do I use? No, I guess, I guess it is the other one. I guess I did load the wrong one. All right, I, I, we'll have this up and running in a second, folks. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Okay. Let's make you need to sure. give me buttons, or are we good? I, I think it should just be. Let me double check. But you should be defaults. All right. Very good. All right. Let me get the chat back open, and then Icon New Media. Book Stone Never and heard. Sinker. I don't think I've ever played this before. This game was advertised to hell and back in the 90s. I'm certainly like, familiar it with it. I've seen that console. logo a million times, but I've never bothered. I've never felt so compelled as to actually play this thing. Like, look at this fucking 90s ass menu here. Like an Andrew still in a CNC music factory <laughs> music video, like just a cu quick cutaway. Let's try the level. Let's just start at the start. Oh, I hate this already. So the goal of Zoop is to pick the same colors to knock them out. And if you don't have it, you can pick a color but it replaces it with that color. Take that, replace it with that. I mean, that, this is, this is a truly out. hideous interface. This is a truly hideous sound font. <laughs> also, if there's a line, so the line of purple's there, they're gonna knock out that whole line. This is the entire game. What, what's the... Uh... The Neo Geo puzzle game, the one that has, uh, where you, you grab locks and you can, like, put them in whatever row you want. Uh, you mean Magical Drop? Yeah, is this kind of like that? No, not at all. Okay. <laughs> like, the, honestly, like, the switching mechanic is kind of hard to describe for me, for whatever reason. Oh, I have been completely neglecting the bottom of the screen. Yeah, I mean, the real challenge here is that it comes at you from four directions. I thought this was just level, I and mean, you've already moved on to the next level. Yep. So, the, but is the... As opposed to continual, which is just forever. But when I... That doesn't make any sense. It... What do you mean? 
level should be like one it, level, then that's it. You're done with the level. But continual means like when you finish one level, you move on to the next level. Would be my interpretation. No, no, continual. Of... Continual is it never gives you a break and resets the board. It just keep, it's the same board forever, and it just keeps piling up like marathon mode in Tetris. Oh. Continual is such a dog shit name for that. It's such a nonsensical, not even a word, really. See what I was saying about this is just kind of boring. <laughs> yeah. Who'd have thought this but is they, the only puzzle game on SNES? They advertised the hell out of this game in magazines back in the day. This has got it's style, it's got panache, clearly. Darkman425 says, Zoop would be a fine as a side mini game for a fuller game, not so much as a full retail release. Uh, whereas Codeman38 says, The SNES version's music was implemented by Brian Schmidt. I have no idea how it came out sounding like this. Oh, power up. What does that accomplish? What did that do for you? That that cleared multiple things at once. Ah, new power up. Not a power up. He's having your collection now, I guess. Guess so. Oh, let me get that. Well, oh, there we go. This is this feels like children's edutainment music. <laughs> like this would be something I would hear when I was on the computer in sixth grade in the computer lab like learning about the museums and history <laughs> yes yeah, feels like a would be on a multimedia cd-rom yeah or some drawing application some kids pics type thing the interface has some of those vibes all these icons this iconography also has that kind of vibe too aggressively 90s 90s minimalist but that's weird. That didn't go backwards. Didn't know that was going to be a thing. Johnny Backett says they get a bit of Lester the Unlikely vibe from some of the music. Yeah. It's, it's very, uh, tropical, I'll say. I think the steel drum oh, God, sound want. font might help with that. That was just, like, frozen up there now. Oh, I'm collecting the curly cues. Is that my win condition? What is going on? For, I don't know. It's been so long. You know, what's great about minimalism is when they a, uh, a minimalist game design that a minimalist approach to game design is when they don't tutorialize you on anything or explain anything. Y okay, you know what? This is the days of the instruction manual though. Sure, yeah. I'll grant you that. Oh, is, I won. This is also an era where they were putting like pop-ups in games, tutorialization in games. Don't like this color. Don't like this collection of hues. This this really is one of the most hideous games I think I've seen in a while. This level, for sure. Like, the dots are so unnecessary. They can just get rid of the dots, and then, then when they get rid of the dots, they get rid of the background, and it's put, like, some nice graphics there or something. And they can just have, like, a bounding box that you stick within. And, you know, that would give you, like, all you need in terms of, like, understanding that... You know, you can just you can just gauge distance. You can just gauge, hey, these blocks are getting close, so I should probably deal with this stack. You don't need to be able I to literally like, count them one by one here. I feel like that is mostly in service of the look that they want. Well, it's a bad look. They shouldn't want this. Okay. No one should want this. I definitely rented this game as a kid because on the back of it being advertised so much. And I think my experience playing it was very much like, really, this? This is what all the hype is about. Oh, jeez. Okay. What happens when you lose, Sharky? Too bad we won't find out. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out. Just dance along to the music. Got a rug on that. Four by four. Rug. Patch of paradise. 
Nebulabit says they, they bought this game for like $1 at their local-ish retro store. Seems like you got ripped off, if you're asking me. Come on. Oh my god, they're really gonna make you wait for this, aren't they? How do you lose this game gonna... outside of deliberately do... sabotaging yourself? Do, do all the pieces need to? Do I need to have like no rows available? It seems like that gives me a lot of time to like fix problems. Oh, never mind. It just took forever. <laughs> Congratulations on your high score. I like this down tempo somber version of it. It's definitely a score worth remembering, yeah. yeah. Save that to the battery, please. And that is the game that was inescapable in the 90s if you were subscribed to GamePro. Well, I certainly don't see why. Uh. <laughs> Viacom spent a lot of money, and they needed to try to recoup it somehow. Whose turn is it again? It is your turn. Is it my turn? I think so. Choice time! All right. I, I will take my turn. Uh, middle, right, left. <laughs> middle! fighting game or beat em up or any type of game that involves fisticuffs. Right? Okay. I'll live with this. And console. NES. An NES, NES fight game. Yeah. Codeman says Zoop is the puzzle games where James Pond is the platformers. <laughs> you know what? I don't entirely understand, but I don't entirely disagree, having played both games. Yeah, you know, you can pick it up on Vibe, I would think, just from that name alone. Um, I definitely ran rented James Pond as a kid. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, that's what, this is what I'll play. Here we are. Welcome to the Dragon. Released 1995 uh, by Ramar International. That is definitely Arabic. And make sure the audio is... Yeah, I just have this at the minus 10. That should be good. Well, I'm guessing bootleg? Oh, no, I should actually take control of it. Which, which means I have to do this real quick. Uh, this is a combination uh, beat-em-up and fighting game. You'll see. Uh, this is, but needless to say, this is a bootleg game. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's still not letting me control this, which is interesting. Maybe you can't skip the, the demo once it starts playing. That would be funny. That would be certainly be an amusing way to start the game off. Controls. Mapped port. Yeah, that should just work. Let's just call it a gamepad. Yep. The demo is certainly uh, giving us a showcase of the game. <laughs> is it still the demo? Okay. There we go. Yeah, so you can't skip the demo. Once it starts, you're just locked in. We'll play it in English. All right, Codeman38 uh, says, This is a Taiwanese-developed, unlicensed game distributed primarily in the Middle East, made by former Sachin developers. Which, which all parses with what I understand of this game. Uh, according to this thing I'm looking at, it says there's, yep, an in-game move list that was also printed on the cartridge. Let's just jump into the game. About the Bruce Lee, Mr. Lee tears through the world. He believes that his job is how to save the criminal from, okay, battle between dragon and tiger. Mr. Lee observed the instruction of his professor to eliminate his tavorous... Oh, okay. And that's Scorpion. No, it's Suzuki, also known as oh, Ninja. okay. Uh, he's the master of the Shadow Less cross start. So we better watch out for that. So according to this, uh, all the bosses in this game are just sprites of um, Mortal Kombat characters. In fact, yes. I'm pretty sure that's Liu Kang. No, it's Bruce Lee. 
Which I guess is like sort of like an Ouroboros, you know, a reference yes. eating its own tail or whatever. I think I locked into my strategy here. Yeah, if he keeps... Like, he's trying to lock you down of jabs, and that doesn't really work if you're crouching. <laughs> Can't finish him, so it's just really not Mortal Kombat. You see, it's very different. No, because you're playing as Liu Kang. Liu Kang didn't do fatalities in the first game. The game of death. Lee Strike, the core of the criminal organization, straggled with the rivals, broke through checkpoints of... Yep. Yeah. Good enough. I'm oh. just trying to place the sprites now. <laughs> That dude seems like, like he's from, like, I... a Russian attack ripoff. The one with the knife. All right, I forgot this is also platforming. Oh, now you hate it. Uh, so these boxes can either contain power-ups or a bomb that just hurts you. Yep. Like that. Yep, that takes off more than half so... your health. Shinobi. Shinobi 3. I don't yeah. even remember if the first Shinobi had those, like, trap boxes. I don't think it did. I will eat that delicious dumpling, though. It is faster to the bunny hop in this game than it is just to walk. Oh, and if I crouch, he just walks right through me. But yeah, you can tell that all these characters here, all these enemy sprites, are definitely from other things. Maybe previous Sachin or Ramar International games? Who's to say? I'm sure someone has sourced this. I feel like Taizo Hori uh, would probably have done a deep dive on this at some point. One of my favorite preservationists. Who focuses exclusively on the bootleg and unlicensed game scene. Apparently, uh, according to this thing, several of the sound effects and songs in the game are from Mickey Mania 7. Which is another bootleg. Oh, for fuck's sake! So mean. Well, you have six lives. And we're gonna use one of, we're not gonna waste them because I don't want to have to replay okay. any of this level. Uh, why don't you entertain the folks while I step away for a couple minutes? Oh yeah, we're I mean, playing this game. I mean, how can they not be entertained? All right, sweep the leg, sweep the leg, sweep the leg. He only listened to one of Mr. Miyagi's lessons, but it was the most important one. I do have an appreciation for these these sort of bootleg, unlicensed games. I should get into more of them. They, they appeal to my sense, uh, my, my respect and appreciation for, for jank. It's just, you know, hard sometimes to, to source them or know which ones are interesting versus which ones are just kind of dull and meandering or... Which ones are just regurgitations, repeats? Oh, I think I got hit once and it denied me the use of the nunchucks. Let, let's try to use them. Let's demonstrate these a little more. Clearly it extends my range somewhat. You know, it's like the same thing with... Well, I'll, I'll just take the loss of nunchucks. I'll, I'll live. Uh, it's like when you get those multi-carts that have, like, you know, 500 games on them and it's a mix of games that they've, like, stolen in games that are, you know, the bootlegs, and then, like, you know, invariably a hundred or of those games are just recycled 400 times, the remainder of the 400 games. Y'all get what I'm saying, right? It's just, it's just a little hard to, to separate the wheat from the chafe. Glad they gave me a one-up there, because there was no getting out of that hole once we got in there. Luckily, there wasn't a, a long away from the checkpoint from the start of the stage here. <laughs> These bombs are brutal. So clearly the problem is like walking into them. I was, what I should do is just like, I guess there wasn't a bomb in at the time. So I guess that means it's random what the contents of a given box are. Jesus Christ. Why even go for boxes? I mean, I guess you gotta go for boxes because you can't, you can never can tell if there's like, you know, something very useful in them that you desperately need or if it's gonna be the, the same trap over and over again. 
Now, why did you open that box like a second time? Because I thought they might be randomized, the contents. Maybe it would be nunchucks again. Right, you know what bootleg game I like? And this is kind of a normie answer. But I like those Titanic bootleg games. Sure. The, the like, one... I did... A friend and I did find them before they kind of blew up online. My favorite yeah, one I of think... those is for the ZX Spectrum. And it's called something like Pussy, A Love Story. And the in-game graphic... It is like a retelling of the Titanic. But the in-game graphics for Jack and... Uh, what's the lady's name? Rose? Are uh, Trunks and Android 18. Like, just like very clearly. Oh, that's good. That's good. I have that game in the collection somewhere. It might not be Pussy, A Love Story, but the, 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 the title is definitely just PUSSY in all caps. <laughs> There might be another boss fight coming. That is I... definitely Russian attack. These goofs. Well, I mean, they, they act like Russian attack AI enemies, but I don't think they are from Russian attack. I think the sprites in Russian attack were smaller. The characters were all kind of smaller. Not as detailed. There's a Commodore 16 version of, of, of Russian attack that is, like, particularly heinous that I'm just thinking of right now. And also the Commodore 16, which was really not a gaming platform, a gaming computer, to say the least. So it's a miracle anything ran on well, it at all. Well, things not being a gaming platform hasn't stopped people from making things gaming platforms. Name, like, Ram, I had a King Fighter. It's like, I had a TI-83 calculator. And in the games we played back in the day on it... Huh? That was my oh, skill you... of fighting. I pressed A and B at the same time, and it uh, oh. took off most of this dude's health, so good time to use it. But you really kicked his ass from a distance. Uh, Codeman says, the Commodore 16 was huge in Hungary, because Commodore basically dropped a bunch of new old stock in Hungary after it failed uh, west of the Iron Curtain. Way of the Dragon. Mr. Lee leaves to Italy to assist his relative and save him from being killed. This game is trying to do the plots. It's like invoking the names of in the synopses of different Bruce Lee movies. I mean, they really don't even need to have the text there. It's pretty clear from the gameplay. Yeah, no, it, it's self-explanatory. It tells its own story. Where are you from? I'd love to know what game that character's from. I also want to know uh, where this music came from. Uh, the answer is hell. <laughs> Again, according to the thing I read, potentially Mickey Mania 7. Oh, there's a little bit of that. If you listen to, if you can get past the no, 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 sound player, there's a da -da, na -na, na -na, na -na, na -na, Pink Panther theme in the background. I, I could hear it. No, well, yeah, no, it, it was buried. In the mix. Speaking of burying... I've uh, shit done of it. <laughs> Putting this one to rest. You hear it, though? Oh, now Did I hear it. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure that we got that through, that I was that was proven heard, right in that regard. I heard that... Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. It's like how in, uh, like, how Elfelt's theme in uh, Guilty Gear Strive has, like, one moment that's just Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas, for Christmas is yeah. You. We, we independently came to that conclusion, and then, like, I, yeah. I, I commiserate on it in the Discord, and I was just like, this, this part's so blatant. You're like, yeah, it is! That was a great moment. Uh, this has to be your turn, right? Well... Yes, it is. Yes, it is. All right. Just Challenge keeping it simple. Time. Left, center, right. Okay. So, console. NES. All right. Genre. Deja Vu. Again. <laughs> Are you going to play it? Let's find out. Hit it. What the fuck is right. with the we'll chance time tonight? <laughs> load up uh, Enter the Dragon again. Or no, I'm sorry. Just the dragon. I, I, I think I can find another game. I think I'm... Okay. I, I can potentially find a different one from my list of games there. Uh, y you know what? I have... I'm curious if it exists. Uh, does... 
Did Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, like, Tournament Fighter ever come out on the original NES? If it did, I don't have it tagged as a bad game. Okay. Most of the beat-em-ups in fighting... Oh, you know what? I'm going to count this as sure. a beat-em-up of sorts. And uh, I'm going to make you help me with this one. No, you know what? No. I want you to show off the AI in this one. Okay, At we can do start. that first, sure. Yeah. <sighs> this is the Uncanny X-Men, or as the title screen says, Marvel's X-Men, and this one is, is infamous. Uh, and deservedly so. This one is fucking wretched. But, uh... Like a classic ABGN episode. Classic Sean Baby. Top 20 worst games of all time contender. All right, one Apparently Jeff is. Gersman just played this on his NES rankings, according to Magic Meows. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, let's do the Future City Street Fight. Or we could do the sub Subterranean Confrontation. Uh, search and destroy the Robo Factory, what, or battle through a living speaks, starship. What speaks to you? Uh, you know, I think I've always just played the first stage of this game and never gotten through it. So let's do the second stage. Alright, if I press select, I can go through the cast of characters. Uh, now, I, I seem to recall that it is only worth it to play as characters with ranged attacks in this game. It, it's cool that they have and the little bios here. That is a nice touch presentationally. Now, I would never otherwise play as... Uh, Cyclops, but, you know, in this game. Uh, if I remember correctly, it, uh, what you want to do is you want to give the AI a ranged character, too. <laughs> well, no, we want to give them a melee character so they can just uh, get themselves killed in the first minute. I'll pick a ranged character just to see what they do. Uh, Codeman38, by the way, is people were saying this is a Beam Software game. Codename38 saying this isn't by Beam Software. It seems to be developed by one of the Japanese companies that was a predecessor to Quest. In Launchbox database, they have this tag as an Atlas game. And I know Atlas did the Friday the 13th game for LJN. So it could be. Could very well be another Atlas banger from this time, from 1989. But anyway, let's select Iceman. All right, go AI, go. Is <laughs> this is a present oh. from me You know what, AI you. knows exactly what it's doing. Yeah, there, there is no problemos here. They, they are holding, carrying their weight here. Thank you for the community gift sub again. In the crowd, whoever may have sent it. Red Mercer for receiving it. Oh, I, I got stun locked there for a second. I don't know what any of these power-ups do. Ooh. At least I can take control of Iceman now. Wait, no? Oh, I thought... It, is it still the AI? Or, you know what? AI's gonna carry you. No, I, now I have control of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, for a full... You know what it is? There must have been... Like, I must have been stunned. Uh, uh, Z Research saying dark, the Moby Games page dark. doesn't have credit, so that's a dry lead. You could try Game FAQs, uh, which is infinitely more useful than Moby Games has ever been or ever will be again. Thanks, Atari, you fox. Uh, dark Man says the requirement to enter the final stage is neat. Otherwise, this game's correct. This game is a... Requirement into the final stage. I think they're thinking of the Genesis version where you have to restart the console when Magneto tells you that, you know, they've compromised your game system. Unless there's something in this game that I'm not aware of. Yeah, uh, like I knew the Genesis one. Uh, and Johnny Bad Guy says, this game kind of hurts to look at. Yeah, no, no doubt. Uh, let's, let's restart it. Let's get you in on this. All right. Alrighty. And we'll do a different stage. Maybe, maybe one of these stages will look better. Early. Uh, I'll play as Wolverine. Press select to change characters up. Okay. Oh, Darkman425 specifies that this one requires finding half of the password on the cartridge label. Oh. All right, the ultimate team up. This is my uh, claw hey, attack, by the way. Why do I not have lasers? Press the other buttons. Oh, okay. I see how this is now. Yeah, A and B Good are sounds. This one, I know someone said that it hurts to look at. It uh -oh. hurts to hear. Oh, well, bye. Bye, Cyclops. Goodbye. Bit of a glass cannon, that one, huh? You know, 
It did say on the wheel that you were going to play it, so. Isn't this a lovely stage? This is a living starship, by the way. I don't know if you can tell this is a starship that we're on. Yeah, some of these power-ups are actually power-downs that just... Oh! They pushed me outside the screen. We're back. Oh, you got regenerative healing. That's true, yeah, so we should just be invincible. Why am I even fighting these things? Uh, it says there are hidden messages highlighted in the level end screens. Oh, yeah, it. okay, oh, yeah, it's password. coming back to me, yeah. And the other half of it is... I don't remember what the, the, uh, the end, like, passcode is, but it's... Alright, so Magnet is the one that makes me, like, completely stuck. That, uh, the tube-looking one is something, clearly. Something seems to have frozen the enemies. Either that or S. Ugh. You ever go to, like, a, a Mexican grocery store and they have those, like, little candies? That you put like the, the the sauce on, and it looks like this. Not the ones I. I mean, I've seen like you know, candies with like chili on it that are just like red in color because of. Those are pretty good. Yeah, they're 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 chili candies, but like you put the sauce on yourself. I never had one that required me to do like work on it. That like neat assembly required. I can say that much. I'm sure my girlfriend would know. She, she's really up on that uh, Mexican candy kick. She hates chocolates. It isn't like I really regular should, candy. I really should go to that one, like, near-ish to where I live. Like, in, in reasonable driving distance, get some more stuff there. I like getting yeah. drinks from that place. Yeah, get Haritos especially. That's the only soda that fucking matters. I'm going to play Nightcrawler because they are my favorite x man who do you want oh, to play okay. as? Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Uh, let's see. Who are you doing again? I'm Nightcrawler, so... Nightcrawler. Oh, yeah, that's all... Mm, I'm gonna be... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on one second. Storm's birthplace what? is New York City? Since fucking when? Wasn't, like, her origin story that she was, like, queen of... Like I don't remember some like country you know like the, back in the day they used to just make up countries like character maybe they, well, she was a real country but I I know for a fact she wasn't from America in the original fucking her her debut in the comics this would have been eighty nine too so it would have been like too long oh, late after she was introduced someone no, correct the, me on this please but this is the L J N verse oh sure <laughs> oh we're doing this stage again okay. I think it's checkpointed. Hopefully it's checkpoint. Hopefully oh. this isn't just the beginning of the stage. Yeah, once you lose an X-Man, you gotta move on to the next man. I was about to say that Nightcrawler is also my favorite X-Man, but I think when I was a kid, my favorite was actually uh, Archangel. Sure, I could see that. If there are... Yeah, okay, so this is... We did start from the beginning of the stage. Fucked up, but okay. Let's go right. Just to okay. mix things up. I once had okay, a corrupted a version of this ROM. I had, like, a bad dump of this, where the graphics mm -hmm. were even more corrupted than this. Like, it was loading, like, wrong things from memory. Yep, it's up to me. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Very cool. I guess I'll be Colossus and you'll be Iceman. <laughs> Alright. What would you say your attack range well. is as a melee character? Uh, like, about a like... A pixel? Uh, <laughs> that's more like 8 pixels. You know, out of 256 in a horizontal row, 224 tall. Whoa, whoa, okay, I got... I got shoved real far away. I wish I knew what my health was at all. Nah. You just gotta keep track of it in your head. I, I wonder if that speeds that actually means anything. Like, if there is any appreciable difference between 
characters in terms of how fast they. W okay, that I guess that's death. <laughs> it did seem like you were moving a little bit faster. You were moving like a. a okay, you you seem to move slower at the very least. Yeah, I am playing as Colossus right now. I mean, Colossus was, I think, the best character to play as in the X Men arcade game, just so you could scream constantly. Okay, so one character was able to just walk through that in one of the earlier attempts, but but not everyone else. So how do you get past those? What does the game want me to do there? I guess we're never going to find out. Until I have to revisit this game at some point, I'm sure I'll have to do something with that game. Right. I, just for the sake of um, saying what it is, Codeman did link to the uh, cutting room floor article on the game about the hidden message. So, like, one of the stages ends with saying, the last of the White Queen's forces have been beaten. Congratulations on a successful mission. You can start a new challenge now, but the last mission can are highlighted in red. And if you piece the whole thing together throughout the entire game, it says the last mission can be reached from the mission screen by pushing select and seek the advice of the label to make it to the final mission. And on the label, where the copyright and trademark is, it says B plus up together with start. Well, someone can go ahead and do that if they want to, if you're so inclined to. Uh, it's not going to be me. And, and Codeman38 also gave us, uh, gave us the details. Just look up the check. Storm was, in fact, born in New York City, but her mom is a Kenyan princess, and her family moved to Egypt as a toddler. So, okay. Fair enough. Technicality, I suppose. I, I've been called out. <laughs> Caught on my shit. Um, I believe it's your turn. Yeah, that sounds about right. It doesn't matter, but I think it's your turn. Let's do left to right. Well, it does matter because there's something we haven't landed on that hasn't come into play here. But uh, we'll see it if we ever get it. Uh, I'm just going to do it left to right. Console. PlayStation, that's good. That I'm already, Things Wait. are already looking up. Wait, I think I see it now. <laughs> but go on. Genre. Ooh. Okay. It's again. And there it is. Yep. All right, so what, what this is, I added this so that the person who's in control can decide which of us plays the game. So because mm. I am in control of saying when we stopped, I can decide whether I would like to play a PlayStation platformer or whether you will be the one to play a PlayStation platformer. Now, Cass, would you like to play a platformer tonight? Fuck no. You're going to play a PlayStation right. platformer for me. Uh, which, which one remains to be seen? I thought, I thought it was just nice to have a third thing on there, because like, it, it, when it was just flashing back and forth between just our faces on there, it, it was annoying me for some reason, so I felt uh, compelled to come up with some third option. That was like, the idea I landed the, on. The moment you said it does matter, like, that's the moment I noticed the new thing. Um, we have some choices here. <laughs> PlayStation certainly wasn't, uh, lacking platformers. Like, the obvious thing to do would be, like, this Bubsy 3D, but, uh... That's gotta be its own thing eventually, right? Yeah, of course. What is this? Is this That is not a platformer. No, that Tell is that not. Much. Is this a platformer? I'm seeing Gex, I'm seeing Morton um, Chicken. Uh, the thing I'm seeing on your screen right now, I don't got a fucking clue what that is. I don't know what that one is either. There, there are some good choices that the chat is giving us, but, uh... You know, this, believe it or not, I don't have a bunch of uh, 3D platformers on me just at all times. Uh, I, don't, I don't keep them around unless it I need them for something, unless I need to play them. Uh, let me go over this one more time. Oh, wait. You know, this is more of a beat em up, but I think there's some platforming involved in it. You know, you move left to right, there's probably a jump button in it. Does that count? I don't know. You know what? Let me. I know I'm the one who's playing, but let me look something up real quick. Yeah, I really need to work out some of the kinks of this, right. this whole thing here. Uh. uh, 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 uh 
The only problem is that if it's a game I don't have on me, it with PlayStation, it's a little harder to get hold, like get ah. hands on. What about? Oh, uh, what about Blasto? Do you have that? I gotta have Blasto. Blasto's not bad though, is it? Is but I don't remember liking Blasto. <laughs> Let's do some Blasto. How about some Blasto? And I will take note of the games that are being suggested right now. Okay. In chat, and I will uh, start and People to get... were excited about more of the chip. Is this the PAL version of Blasto? Uh, I think this might be, because I see I saw there was an E. No, it's, it says Blasto U C. Hmm. That, that intro screen is very, like, PAL core. <laughs> that anti piracy thing. Uh, I believe no, America. This was... See, okay. Well, they're the ones who. Okay. Um, what was I about to say? This was Phil Hartman's last role, wasn't it? I believe you may be correct. Yeah, Johnny backs me up and saying that's a PAL anti-piracy screen. Yeah, but then they use the word America a hundred fucking times in the next three. Well, or they're four the screens. ones who developed it. I mean, it's the same game either way, so. Yeah. It's just, you know, one of them might have a weird frame rate. That can only help in our, in our case. Okay. Controller. Ugh. Okay. Dive, swim, jet, camera, s sniper, wall cover, dodge left, dodge right, button pre- good, thanks. I press this button, and it'll button press. Uh, special jump, swim, jet, shoot. Okay. Floating runner. I'm 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 looking up right now. Uh, no, I don't want to. Do not want to calibrate that. All right. I remember this game getting advertised pretty heavily too. I'm pretty sure because they got Phil Hartman for it. No, most definitely. And it's Sony first party, so. I just remember thinking this game sucks. I guess we'll find out. I guess you'll... I mean, I feel like we've played games on Chance Time that have been good before. Maybe inadvertently, but... Oh, can't see anything now. Okay. Shut up! Shut up! My devoted legions of... Do we care about this plot? I feel like we should watch this, probably, right? Yeah, we, sh we should watch this. And safe on their shiny blue planet, Bowie, the one true master race of the universe. Ooh. No, Ooh. don't say that. <laughs> Maybe pick your phrasing. I guess I did have Floating Runner already. Well, well too late now. Time. You know, I've, I've mentioned during the Legendary playthrough we did that... They are like red flag phrases for your boss to say, like stuff like the interlopers. Yeah, that's a red flag phrase. I think if your uh, leader starts talking about the master race, that's a red flag. Unless he's talking about like a really cool like uh, relay race that they set up where all the masters are competing against one another. Or PC gaming, apparently. Oh, Jeff Force Gemini. Oh, Monsters Inc. When the planet is ours, I haven't understood a single word this guy's been saying. No one He's been in one ear out the other. I will enslave their women. Coleman says this game was developed by Sony America, but the lead dev was an ex Argonaut guy. Nothing will stop me from claiming my rightful place as the one true ruler of the universe. I, Bosk the Terrible. Get Phil Hartman on the screen. Shut up. <laughs> Who farted? Magic Mouse says, Amazing to hear an alien in a video game not voiced by Steven Horvitz. <laughs> Space Mouse 
Central, Captain Blasto. Space Command Central, Captain Blasto, over. Blast here's alive. We have an urgent message from Admiral. There's a wind in the cockpit here. Urgent, huh? Put him through, Command Central. Blast oh, it's like hell divers how your cape flaps around in the ship. This, time. this is no time for jokes. It seems that evil alien tyrant Bosk is up to his old tricks again. Bosk? I thought that pear-headed psychopath was banished to the fifth dimension. He was, but now he's back and he's mad. The very foundation of the free planetary... Is like that Mr. Monopoly? Being... <laughs> on the screen? Maybe. That or just like an older Mi Pringles guy. <laughs> is a frog's butt water tight? I knew we could count on you, Blasto. Good luck. And remember... Blasto, what the fuck are you talking about? So what else is new? Why do you keep talking about frogs' buttholes every time I call you? <laughs> oh, you know what that, that creature is? It's like that one from uh, Looney Tunes. The, the one that has the... Uh... The Gossamer? Yeah. Guy who's only watched Space. Looney Tunes before. Getting real Gossamer vibes from this guy. Toast aliens and rescue babes. Ah, it's a Duke Nukem like. Honey, I'm home. Blonde hair, red shirt, blue pants. Yeah, fits the bill. All right, tank controls. Your favorite. I've never minded tank controls. Dodge left, dodge right. They can be okay. I generally don't like them but they can be okay i think actually fixed camera tank controls are the ones i don't like the most this view distance is something else i will say i know the playstation wasn't really you know equipped for it but way to die oh i'll see you i wish he had a proper strafe rather than having to hop what are the- oh, camera, okay. Oh, is that- no, that's not really aiming. No, it is, but it's aiming very poorly. Where- uh-oh. I... Oh, you gotta rescue oh. that baby. Oh, she's up there. Okay. How do I? I don't think I have- I think I need like a jetpack or something first to do that. I don't have that. That would yet. make him even more like Duke Nukem. Okay, what's this? Is this a jetpack? Nope, no clue. At least not yet. Oh. Boombox. Oh, nope, health. Recovered your health, yeah. I mean, I kind of yeah, like this, the visuals. I kind of like the really simple polys without like any real texturing. I like that just like so, flat poly look. So a Bubsy 3D look. Yeah, you know, theoretically, in concept, I don't mind a Bubsy 3D aesthetically. I mean, I think people have come around on the Bubsy 3D look. That's totally. Yep, I knew that was. I knew that was going to happen. All right. Emerald Sun to sing. Oh, hey, I remember this game somehow. Blasto, that is correct. You do, in fact, remember. Uh. Oh. That. Oh, I unlocked some map? Okay. That's not super helpful. At least not right now. Is there. There has to be a button for that, right? Okay. Yeah, so the arrow is the direction that you are oriented towards. Ah, uh, surely can definitely I can rescue that, babe. Yeah. Shake it, baby. Masterpieces of suspension. The Golden Gate Bridge and that bra. Huh. How do you I cannot open her? it. Uh, <laughs> maybe we shouldn't let Blasso near her. <laughs> I remember why I don't like this game. <laughs> For uh, several reasons. <laughs> yeah, this shooting sure is something. Sh surely. Alright, that... Did that free you? No? Okay. Oh, maybe that there's a panel on the other side. You can see the light flashing yeah. through because yep. of... 
Ooh, jeez. Open cage. There we go. Wait, I heard something spawn, but... I guess not. No, wait, there it is. Didn't even break a sweat. Hello. Hello, honey. All right, so you do need to find a way to get that other babe. Yes. So the entire, I guess the entire point of every level is to find all babes. Uh, Magic Meow is saying that, um, uh, Last it was like a proto zap ran again, except he can actually fight. Yes. Do you think I have access to the other babe now that I did whatever they said about the force field? I would hope so. Ah, a 200 terawatt charge up. Oh, better gut. Just what we needed. Okay, what does this do? Ah, it's my party now. Oh, goodbye, babe. I wonder if you'll find like a platform that. Ah, safe. Takes you all the way up. <laughs> oh, really safe. Not like a checkpoint. Yeah, jump across. It's the worst that could happen. All right, let's aim. This does seem like fairly miserable to play. Mm -hmm. Also inverted aiming. Cool. Oh, I'm good. That button behind you has to be. Oh well, you gotta press that. First, let me open hit this thing like i i do not feel certain about any of these jumps i'm doing like every jump feels like i still don't have a handle on that, how far i can jump all platformers to me all the time i mean you know yeah i can't be mad that's it said <laughs> It said, it said what it was going to do. Yeah, fair More or warning. less. All right. No? Oh. oh. Can I climb? Yes. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, there's those mantling. What That's is this nice pile place. of dirt here? This okay, is moon rock. Push, push block puzzles. Well, okay, puzzle solved. We still I have, have not feeling... figured out how to rescue that babe yet, though. Yeah, I mean. Like, I feel like I need a jetpack, but also I feel like we're getting uh, further and further away from where she was. Is there anything behind this corner? Yes. If he makes a joke about, like, little blue pills or something. No, okay, nope. they spared just, us that. Just invincibility. Yum, yum. Assume I'm invincible. That seems like a safe bet. Or maybe I take more damage. Like, Ooh, ah, I'm extremely say. vulnerable now. Gold is actually a pretty weak metal, all things told. Uh, Professor Gaskin says, fun fact, come back to this area right after reaching the last section of the level. Yeehaw! Uh. Oh, I guess that was it. Oh, so Sucks to be that one, babe. <laughs> okay, yep, yeah, never mind. All right. She will not be saved. How do I come back to this Can't area save then? Them all. And what does this, that two mean? I think you have to, like, meet some requirements to unlock that. I do notice that the game auto aims my gun, so I'm not. Super sure why I would be using 
this thing. I mean, I can. And why wouldn't you? I mean, I could use it to look, but... You think I can make this jump? Psh, only one way to find out. Just barely. Can you break out every single individual pane of glass on that? I can sure try. I love how precise the aim is, that, that giant fucking rectangle on the screen. Really lets you know exactly where your shot's headed. Yeah, you pressed it. And stop. Nope. <laughs> I, I can't just rotate and stop. I'm going to have to deal with that. Yeah, so some of them have flats or like a bridge you can use while you're on there. You could probably just jump that. Yeah. I mean, this, this is just space Bubsy. Really, when you get down to it. Yeah. Down hard. to, like, the constantly talking. Yeah, I'm hard-pressed to contest that claim. The really flat, textureless backgrounds. Uh, Magic Meow says that this is more competently designed than Bubsy. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Johnny Baggett says, maybe a hot take, but this looks like it holds up better than some of the PS1 Tomb Raider games. Well, that's not that hard to do. Truth be told. <laughs> I mean, it's got Phil Hartman. That's a feather in his cap. Ooh, it's got slowdown, too. It's got frames. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't Bubsy run at a pretty consistent frame rate? Uh, yeah, to my recollection. The, the mental image of it, the video I'm playing back in my mind right now. Yeah, please save. Make, make sure. Yeah. I don't know. This could be a checkpoint for all I know as well. Although now that I think about it, the last time I died, it spawned me exactly where I died. Magic Meow says, Bubsy also had no textures and a terrible draw assist. Yeah, it also had. Yeah. Which is to say that it is... Uh-oh. Is there more level down there? Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, mama! Hmm. Oh, all right, map unlock. Yeah. Oh, Johnny back and pointing out that everything animated at a low frame rate. They were doing like the stilted animation thing in Bubsy. Like the the game ran at like thirty steadily, but then like all the animations were like uh -oh. ten or fifteen. It was like stepped animation stuff. Okay, I think I have now opened all doors that have the number one on them. Well, the, time the only one I've seen number is. Two. Yeah, the only thing I, is I haven't seen any doors besides ones that have number two on them. Oh, I have to go all the way back. You know, you can tell a game's really good when you're like, oh, I have to do X. When that's like the first thought in your mind is like, oh no, the game is making me do this. Mm-hmm. That's how I feel about any platform with backtracking in it. <laughs> I, I just hope I'm supposed to backtrack, because the only thing I saw back there was that exit door that I don't think I could go through. Yep. They're like those... Game's giving all these weapons stuff. to you, but... I don't want to see any more Blasto. Yeah, did I'm. Let's see if there's anything right here. Did, did I open anything? But I opened that. What is what is this? Magic Mouse pointing out that the game over that that, that Lost of Life screen was like the Punisher logo. Oh wait, found another babe. Although she's the same babe that we rescued previously. She got captured again. You know, Turkey. I I like I'm I'm sticking to it. I don't want to see any more of this. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've seen I'm, all I need to see of Blasto. I'm gonna go. You know what? I don't think the jury's out on if it's bad, but I'm gonna call it not good. I think that's fair. That's as diplomatic as 
we can afford to be here on the Bad Game Hall of Fame. Um, I, I think it's your turn this time, because I think I made yes, you play that. Yes, it is. That. All yes. Right. All right. Uh, right to left. Okay. Who's playing? Okay. What? Oh, a choice. Okay. Hmm. All right. What's the genre? FK. Fighting. And what's the console? Game Boy Advance fighting game. Or beat em up. Or uh, anything that falls Vista Cuffs. Oh, well, have fun, Cass. Now, you're, you're laying this one on me? The straight out the yeah. gate, you're, you're shirking this? Yep. <laughs> There's fair. Alright, I could probably do this. Oh. Yeah, I'm going over to Johnny said. Mortal Kombat Advance. Yeah, that was my first thought, too. If you don't want Rock'em Sock'em Robots or a Dragon Ball Z Taiketsu. No, I'm seeing nah, another... let's go Mortal Kombat Advance. For, for once, we will give the people what they want. And we will do... Let's see how that works out. Yeah, giving people what they want. I think this is going to do some weird, like, stretching at first. So give me a second to disable the... Uh... Let me get this at the proper pixel aspect ratio. So, I have played this game a couple times. There we go. I've played uh, this a couple times, I... too. If I remember correctly, Jade is very broken. You can use her to your advantage. But also, your first fight is a real SOB. Yeah, I think it's hardest on easy or on whatever the default difficulty is. I think if you make the game harder, it actually improves the AI. So I'll make sure to play it on uh, the recommended. There's two player in this game. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to get the link cable shit set up for this. All right, who do you want to play as? For those who don't know, this is like an attempt to bring like a Mortal Kombat trilogy type thing, a Mortal Kombat 3. It's more Game Mortal Kombat 3 than trilogy. It's more Mortal Kombat 3, but it has, yeah. you know, or Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. I mean, these are all Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 selections, I think. Was Noob Cybot? I think even Masks. Or I guess yeah. Noob Cybot would have been, yeah. No, I was yeah, thinking like he was Kano in Mortal Kombat 3, but that's original Mortal Kombat 3. Then Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 comes out and he's. Yeah. Or something like that, right? I'm on, like, sort of the right track with that. Mm hmm. Like, this is more like console ports of Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. I don't know who I want to play as. I'll play as Sub-Zero. Let's do it on Novice. Alright. Well, uh, your first fight was always going to be Scorpion, and Scorpion is like the hardest fight in the game. Like, you need to do something specific to beat Scorpion. I don't even remember what it is. <laughs> I think there was a period in time where I knew what to do in this fight. I was hoping it would just come back to me intuitively, but, uh... Yeah, no. Fight. The teleports are brutal. <laughs> Uh, Johnny says, as far as people can tell, this is straight up missing special moves from UMK3. Yeah, I can believe it. It's, it's straight up missing, like, mini buttons, too. Uh, uh, uh. I think I figured it out. It gets you there. I forgot how to do the slide in this. I mean, I, I'm never good at remembering Mortal Kombat and puts in on the best of days, but... Oh. Advance. Oh. I'm glad he stood up just to fall okay. over. There, there was a female ninja sound effect there. Or maybe not the female ninja, but... Yeah, definitely, like, they're recycling as many of the samples as they can. I see how you thought that was a female ninja sound effect. Alright, your, your, uh, slide is... Huh? Your slide is back and, like, punch and block and kick. 
I should have given you your finisher. Oh, yeah. Give me my finisher. We can do that. Back, back, forward, forward, punch. There you go. That was that was underwhelming. <laughs> well, you know, Nintendo console. Zero. Yeah, but this is still granted, rated they, granted, they had stopped. They had stopped doing that. <laughs> yeah, this game was rated M the on GBA. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, mirror match right out the gate, huh? They didn't just they didn't bother at all to like make different like fight trees. It's always gonna be like, the same series I, of fights I in a row. I think it is literally the same tower for everybody every time. I like how he froze me and then couldn't follow up on it because he didn't know to like attack me while I was down. Jesus, he's worse than Scorpion. Ay, ay, ay. Alright, if you lose and you get back to character select, I actually would like to hit control. Yeah, I could do that for you. I know it's not this game, but uh, we've done a couple Mortal Kombat articles on the sites. Uh, we've done Mortal Kombat on the Game Boy. BadGameHallFame.com slash Mortal dash Kombat dash DGB, probably something like that. I don't remember the exact URL. And we did uh, Mortal Kombat Trilogy on the Tiger Gamecom. So, you know, those are some things you could read if you want to see me suffer more Mortal Kombat handheld gaming. We still got to do Mortal Kombat 4 on the Game Boy Color. That one, I think, is is my favorite. Finish him. Oh, well. Which, who won? I think it was the CPU Sub-Zero. Yes, <laughs> yes it was. All right, let's give you a shot at this. Oh, you know, I could do it like this. If you right. could rewind me back to the well, no, you're continue just screen, so I don't have to start from the start. Oh, why would you not want to start from the start? All right. Fine, fine. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think Jade buttons. Okay. It's A, B, oh. L, and R. Oh god, no, wait, start maybe we start from the start anyway. Oh never mind. <laughs> Fight. Okay, so let me check buttons. Kick. Also kick. This one's blocked, that one's blocked. Okay. I think I'm picking up on what your strategy might be. Yep. <laughs> okay, got it. There's no answer for that, huh? Get ready to do fatality. Good. Great. Incredible. Jade. This game could not be any lower rent. Flawless. If they have, I, I, it's incredible. Can I, can I do a, can I do a friendship? Like I love this site has like a list of combos for yeah, Jade. Like why? Great mirror match again. Fight. You sure know how to pick him, Jerky. The computer has zero answer to this. Like, I don't think it's until, like, the bosses that you have to do anything different. But this, if I remember correctly, this doesn't work on Scorpion. Scorpion's AI will just have the answer to this. Huh. Okay. Back down, back, back. Back down, back, back. There we go. Friendship. That kind of works, I guess. It's a little too fast. Jade wins. Flawless victory. I'm glad to see you've mastered this game. Because one I of can't... us had to. Yeah. <laughs> I 
can't remember how to do the bosses though, but are we just gonna go through the whole thing or are we done with this one? I mean, you are doing one move over and over again uh -huh. to win these fights. Is there an animality in this? Oh, thanks. There is not. Is there anything beyond fatality and friendship? What? Nope. And everyone has one fatality. This is fucking oh, I took damage. dire. Finish him. Oh, I couldn't get my fatality out. I, I, I hit him too much. How many more fights are there in this? I almost uh, want to see a boss. Just to see how bullshit I, they are. I don't know how many more fights are in the Novus Tower. Fight. Dragon Morph 83 says, God, that just reminds me of an arcade pit where there was a Mortal Kombat 3 challenge and one of the players went and clowned on it so hard they finished with a friendality. Fight. Which I'm assuming is like an issue where it's supposed to be friendship or fatality, but the wrong animation plays. I'm going to assume based on the word friendality. Jade, that or they said, you know, like they ended on a friendship. friendship. Yeah. As like a disrespect move. Now, see, the speedrun strat in Mortal Kombat games is to get hit once so you don't have to see the Sit through the victory, victory screen. This is the endurance Endurance round. Yeah. yeah. You gotta be close to the end. Johnny Baghead says, some, also weird thing about this version, for some reason, the voice samples are really high quality and uncompressed sounding. Yeah, they really wasted a lot of space that they yeah. could have used like for special moves or more stage backgrounds or really anything else. On game. Also, I really like how the, the animation for the characters switching out for one another. We just say the complete lack of animation. But I guess lack of animation is kind of this version of the game's running theme. Jade wins. Yeah, the uh, Shao Kahn's voice is so clear. Okay, Motaro. So I don't think he's going to be vulnerable to uh, my projectile spam. Yep. I think you may have landed on something that works right away, though. Yeah. Remember, they're still taking damage. They're still doing chip damage here. Yeah, it's it's chip damage. Man, what an exciting night! What's uh, exciting games tonight? Like four platformers in a row. <laughs> a speed run of Spyro. If I keep teleporting, they can't hit me. Then you'll have to do a timer scam. I think that is the strategy now. Okay, there we go. Jade wins. All right, one more, one more time. time. Yeah. <laughs> Fight. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. I mean, this is the Mortal Kombat experience, is getting your ass handed to you by a boss who does, like, way too much damage. Alright. <laughs> well, as soon as you get them in the corner, you're going to start doing their teleporting thing again, so be ready. Yeah, I know. Once you see the edge of the screen, just be ready for them to be behind you. Oh, good plan, good plan. I like the way you think, Sharky. And then... There we go. Alright, final boss. And Shao Kahn is also immune to special moves, right? Probably. I don't think he is, but I think he has... Like, an answer to... Constant spam. I'll try it out first and see what happens. Sure. I think it's gonna be the same strategy as Mataro, though. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
I didn't even get one out. Fight. Well, he really basked in that victory. You did a pixel of health to him with that move. I mean, I think this is the strategy. Yeah, just make sure you're doing it in the other direction, because getting him into that corner is going to end badly. No, he doesn't have a teleport. No, he's going to do his uh, his charge move, though. He's going to do his, like, battering ram or tackle. The thing is, I, I dropped the input. <laughs> do you want to rewind? Oh, no, you, you, rewind is not helping. <laughs> okay, let, let's try it like this. While you're in midair, can you recover from this state? I guess the answer is no. No. <laughs> There you go. There we go. When in doubt, cheese okay. it out. Uh, you were totally on. over that. That's bullshit. Yeah, this game really just has the two stages, doesn't it? Even Mortal Kombat 2 on the Game Boy <laughs> had, like, three stages. Granted, one of them was a hidden stage. Goro's Lair, but, you know. All right. Oh, God. <laughs> yep. Best I can Careful. do for you. See, rewinding isn't everything. You know, you still have to, like, you know, learn how to resume, be, think, be, be able to think on the spot. Well, it doesn't help if I'm not aware that the rewind is coming. <laughs> All right, see your ending. Jade makes the decision to assist her longtime friend Katana. She thwarts an assassination attempt by Reptile against the princess and fends off their other outworld enemies. This clears the path for Katana to turn Sindel against the Emperor Shao Kahn. With Sindel removed as an enemy, Jade finds herself facing the Emperor in combat. She defeats him, and both Earth and her former homeland of Adenia are transformed. To their original states, Jade has earned herself a place among the gr alongside the great heroes of Mortal Kombat. Is it going to scroll? No, oh, I had to scroll. No, I had to hit a button to make it scroll. Really? Yeah. That's impressive. I think you've earned. Yeah. That's two games we've completed tonight. Yeah, no, and good night for, for, for beating bad games. Virtuecraft, the developer of this. I'm glad they spent so much of their cartridge allocation on the, uh, the sound effects and not on the sound font samples. The you know, coffee maker, just... RIP, the new coffee maker. You know, if they just took out the coffee maker RV and the new coffee maker, they would have had enough room to give everyone a second fatality. <laughs> These sons of bitches. The goddamn coffee. All right. I think, I think we have time for one more for tonight. Yeah, one more should do it. Uh, I think you... Wait. I did it last time. Because I gave it to you, and then I was like, no, wait, I want to do this. <laughs> Great, so we really... Waffled on that one, so I guess that means it's me. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. Game Boy Advance oh. puzzle game. All right. Think I can find one of those? I, there's got to be at least two, right? Out there somewhere. Someone predicted that it was going to be SNES platform or U. Guessed wrong on this one. Better luck next time. You know what I think it is? I think the filters are just completely broken on LaunchBox right now. That has to be what's going on here because there's absolutely more than one puzzle game in my fucking collection here. Let's clear those filters. Let me just look at all my Game Boy Advance games and pick out the first puzzler I can find. Oh. Oh, you found it already? Yeah, I think I might have. 
yeah, I'm so sorry uh, that I'm gonna make you play this one. All right, here we go. Oh. This is two games in one, Marble Madness plus Clax, a 2005 release developed by Frame hey. Studios, published by Destination Software. Finally got to run to Clax. Yeah, suppose so. Oh, I'll start with Marble Madness. And then yeah, we'll Marble Madness is the star attraction, let's say. Or, of, you know what, actually, then let's start with Clax. Okay, if that's, sure. If that's the star of the show. It is the 90s, and there is time for Clax. It was definitely not the 90s. Yeah, it was 2005, <laughs> very clearly, but... All right, yeah, just start at wave one. Thank you. You're welcome. I like Clax. I'm not super great at it, but I like it. Clax Togo. Is that, like, a character from... Uh, Go-Go 13. 13? Yes. <laughs> Uh, Pro Striker 92 class. saying that DSi games is so GBA. Yeah, Destination Software and the GBA go together like two fucking horrible things. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so there's a bit of like Connect 4 in this, or Connect 3, obviously, yeah. more like, but. I'm fully aware of what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna drink see? up. Feel free to drink up if you wanna. I'm, I'm drunk on Clax. <laughs> Clack wave. I remember there was a period of time uh, when Slow Beef of Let's Play fame was like really practicing hard I'm fully to get good aware at Clax. Of what I'm doing. Can you see? Any particular reason why? Or <laughs> just cause I think. Which is a fine enough reason. Get that there, get that there. That Does this seem like a, a decent Clax. version of Clax to you? Yeah, this is this is fine. Like it's gonna be a really small screen, and I believe the original Clax was like a vertical orientation. Yeah, they're doing what they can for this. They put some graphics on the side and they moved around some of the UI elements. But this is this is perfectly fine clacks. But I think we should move on to yeah, Marvel see Madness. How you get out of this. Figure out a way to get back to the menu. The game select. Let's see if once I get to the next screen if I can. You know, for what it's worth, I, I do love these, like, compilation games, like, you know, like, arcade classic collection stuff. Namco mm -hmm. Museum on the Game Boy Advance, the Atari Anthology, or the Activision Anthology, rather. All right, so this is the main attraction because uh, Marble Madness, famously a trackball game yes. in the arcade. Okay, it is... Um, it is not doing the thing where it's, like diagonal to move down anything like that it is pure down is down left is left where is right mm -hmm. oh this doesn't this doesn't feel physically like a ball at this point it is it's having trouble picking up speed <laughs> that seems to be my recollection oh now it's okay no I suppose to say now it's picking up speed but not so much Oof, okay. Okay, yeah. Oh, I have a button to speed up. Whoopsies. Bye! Uh. Alright. Turn over, thank you. So I would like you to, to at least make it past level three, if Fuck. that's at all possible. Which level is this? Two. Okay. Didn't know if you were counting that first one as level one. That is level one. Great animation All right, there. Just, just see. Oh. At least it puts you right I'll here. It put me right in front of the exit, yeah. I don't know how much time I'm going to have in the next level, considering how long it took me to do that. Okay. 
Right, this is the intermediate stage. Ominous fucking music here. Woo! Okay, alright. At least I I'm believe down here. I'm gonna let you rewind <laughs> that one, because that one was... In the interest of getting to the end of this. The... Yeah, you say it just doesn't control particularly well. No, it does not. Ooh, Ooh, particularly on diagonals. Save. Fuck. Doesn't sound particularly good either. No, you, you want to continue that... to go down. That's not a... You sure that's not a path I can... I, I guess it is, theoretically. Maybe if you took that narrow one there, you could jet directly to the end. Oh, oh you're fuck. so close. There we go. Alright, very good. Alright, let's see that next level. Oh. So, Everything? from IGN's review of this game from uh, 2005, you definitely do not want to buy this game for Marble Madness. No matter how much of a fan you may have been in the original arcade game, this JBA conversion is one of the sloppiest and competent ports of the arcade game ever seen on a home system. In fact, many elements indicate that the studio cut the development before the game was even completed, let alone the absolutely broken controls, busted and non-existent rolling physics, the marble slides instead of rolls, for example, and lack of two-player competition. No, the worst part of this port, it ends after level three. That's right, a six-level game ends at level three. I don't care if you're on the smallest GBA cartridge possible. One half of a four megabyte cartridge is plenty of space to get all of Marble Madness in there. Rare got the game on a minuscule NES cartridge nearly 20 years ago, and yet a development studio today can't even manage to get 50% of a 1985 arcade game on way more silicon. The last three levels are most likely cut for time purposes than space concerns, as the programmer didn't even have time to implement the wave motion mechanic at the end of level 3. Either way, a horrendous port of half an arcade champion is an absolute travesty. But hey, that clash is alright. Yeah. Uh, in fact, the next sentence is, which is why it pains me to say that the other portion is cartridge clacks is actually spot on great. <laughs> so that, that's why that was reviewed by Craig Harris on behalf of IGN. Uh, and yeah, so congratulations on beating Marble Madness. Hey, oh, you hey, want to hit the victory hit screen again? Yeah. <laughs> this was a good night for chance time. We beat so many games. I suppose so. I suppose that's one way to look at it. Ay ay ay! I see this. I, this is why I always like chance time. <sighs> that is going to do it for tonight, though. Ah, I had fun. This was a good again. one. Uh, you know, it had its ups. It had its. It had its downs. Getting four platformers in a row is an experiment not to be repeated. Uh, we'll have to work some sort of countermeasure in against that uh, for future. Just sure to spare myself, really. Uh, yeah, you never know what we're gonna get. I mean, that is that's I mean that's the entire that's the yeah. the, the concept behind the chance time is that you never know what you're gonna get. Uh, I still need to work on some ways to improve picking out the games once we have the the blocks in alignment. There's, there's clearly some struggles. I mean, there's clearly some growing pains with that that I will eventually get figured out with any luck at all. I Honestly, I was just like kept opening up Google and going like Game Boy Advance puzzle games and just seeing what happened there. Well, the point is that's supposed to be a bad game chance time. Well, I can recognize what the bad games are when I look at just them. Just from a glance, just from just from a title alone or a cover image. I mean, I, I have enough like accumulated knowledge of some games to be like, oh, I forgot that one existed. That one was bad. That's you know. fair. There is sort of, yeah, that recollection, that ability to recall once presented with an image or what have you. But, uh, yeah. Uh, we'll be back Tuesday. Should we say what we're playing on Tuesday or leave it as a surprise? Um, if you say what we're playing on Tuesday, I'll be surprised because I don't remember. We, we, I'll, I'll tell you, we decided on something. It's something that we've referenced multiple times on the stream today, as a matter of fact. So let that be a hint. Let that be a hint for the audience at home. All right. Uh, see if you can figure out, based on that description, uh, what game we're playing on Tuesday. And then Thursday, we have Undecided. We need to put a Patreon poll up. We need to put a yes. poll up for all our subscribers and patrons and Discord boosters to vote on. We have the game selected. That. Yes, that I remember we selected those. 
So yeah, if you're a patron or if you're a booster on Discord or if you are a subscriber here, then you have a vote in that poll. Yeah, you have access to the Patreon or Patron Saints channel on the Discord. Uh, so yeah, please to join and, and hang out there. And uh, in the meantime... Oh, and also, what, what are we doing next Saturday? Do we want to... I think we need a little more time before we start our next I, yeah. uh, long form concept thing. We might just do another one off theme night because it feels like it's, it's been a while yeah. since we did just a fun old theme night. Mm -hmm. So we'll figure that, that out. That sounds like a good idea. Uh, who to raid? Uh, I want to see if I can find someone that I think might still be streaming. No. Okay, then let's see what you're playing. Uh, Macaw45 is playing something. Dyna Gears? Is that what that... I can't tell from the title screen, which is luckily the frame that I got, that it, that it stopped uh, on. So I could... Dyna Gears. I, it's some arcade game, but I don't uh, recognize it. Well, in any case, we will send people that away anyway. And... Uh, Again, thank folk for turning out, for showing up for another one of these chance times, for another one of our streams. We will be back soon enough. But in the meantime, bye. Good night, everybody.